Okay. Did I? I want to check one thing. So we got part one, part two, part three, part four. Alright, hey guys, we're back. We are back with more Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. We're going to finish this game on stream and then we only have like two, three chapters to go. And then after this chapter, uh, I don't know, we'll probably play, we'll probably play, uh, Ninja Gaiden Razor's Edge. See where we're at there. Sorry, Gamma. This gets a red look. Oh, never mind. So the only weapon that's still only level one is the Vigorian Flail. That's not to say that it's bad. It's not really my playstyle, and I find it most useful. Oh, this is the one where the... I think uh, Kusari Gamma might be better. Yeah, I think Kusari Gamma is better for dealing with these big guys. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, this is the one where it's like a bunch of boss gauntlets. Break one of the limbs off. All right, let's go up here. I'm just gonna finish the game off here. There you are. Oh yes, hello, Marbus. For Marbus, uh, I'm just gonna do Lunar. Oh, that guy actually... I almost screwed that up. He caught me. He caught me. Good riddance. Did he drop anything? Nothing? Nothing really? We killed Marvis and we get nothing for it? I guess I should have not have skipped the cutscene, but you know, it's just Marvis. Come <laughs> on. 
right, we're almost there. I think this weapon has a, a fairly good counter, if I remember correctly. It also has like a, a ranged throw, if I can look up how to do it. When hitting enemy, X, X, forward X when hitting enemy. X, X, forward, that, okay. X, X, forward, X, 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 forward, X. Okay, it's three X's and the fourth one, you do forward. And then when it hits, it does the, you know, the really good throw. I haven't seen any crystal skulls, nor have I really been on the lookout for any of them. One, two. These are probably not the best enemies to try this on, because they're big. It's a really strong attack. one thing hold on okay That's cheap. That guy hit me through the wall. Alright, let's see if there's another boss up here. Not sure how to do the Azuna drop. Alright, let's see who's up next. Oh, great. It's these things. Actually, I kind of think the Tonfa could work here. 
Maybe. These don't seem to do a good job protecting me from uh, ghost fish. Where do I need to go? I think a Volf. No, no, this is Zed. I think Zed. Yeah, okay. So for him, I guess I'll just fight him with... You know what? Let's just do... Let's just fight him with True Dragon Sword. King. Oh, this is such a cheesy move. Oh, well, we're almost done with Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. We only have two more chapters after this one. So he's dead. So that's two of them. Was I supposed to take something from when Marvis died? Heart of Malevolent Flame? I don't remember if Marvis dropped something. I don't remember seeing anything. I skipped the cutscene, though. So, I, I don't think I can go back. So, yeah, we're almost done. Oh, there's a ninja over there. I don't know if this is going to be worth it. Let's see if this is worth it. Oh, it was. Because I used one of those against this guy. Against that boss. Kind of sucks that you have to actually run through the lava. There isn't any other alternative way to deal with that. I think we're, we're maxed on everything again. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. Alright, I'm gonna try... Let's try a different weapon. The only weapon I haven't upgraded at all is Vigorian Flail. I'll go to Tonfa. I think everything right now is level 3 or 4, except the Vigorian, which is like level 1. There should be a crystal skull in this forest, if I remember correctly. Oh boy. Ghost fish. Somewhere in this forest, I remember there being a crystal skull. I, like, I have a very strong memory of this. If I'm wrong, but that'll be crazy. Are we getting Zenith? in the next rank rewards. Uh, I, th I think so. Either the next one or the one after.
I think he's next, but I could be wrong. I, to be honest, I haven't been paying attention to the rank rewards in a really long time. Like, I stopped caring too much about the legend climbing and that kind of thing. My goal when I play that game is to get legend 5 minimum for the sleeves and then possibly legend 10, but I don't really bother going much beyond legend 10 anymore. Unless I really need to farm gems. That's the only that's the only way, the only reason I would ever like climb beyond 10. I, I mean, I don't really care enough about the game anymore because it's a gacha game primarily and it's too watered down and it's too oversimplified. But yeah, I mean, it's either going to be the next one or the one after. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. I thought there was going to be a crystal skull over here. Oh well. Hopefully, hopefully those things can be done on mission mode if I ever want to 100% any of this stuff. Oh, Volf is next. Um, I guess I'll fight him with like this. You have to go to rank 20 for Zenith? No. Yeah, I already have a playset, so I, I don't really care. I kind of want the Lukie because I, I like the artwork on that card. <laughs> but it's going to be mostly irrelevant once Legion comes out, so I don't know. It's more of like a collection thing. Oh, now we're fighting centaurs? That's different. This is reminiscent of, of the stupid, like, horse samurai. Oh man, this is annoying. This is super annoying, guys. Like, you have no idea. Fighting a bunch of four-legged animals? There, make them fall down. Go, this is Sparta. I gotta go, this is Sparta on them. You know what? The easiest way is 360 Lunar because that's why. Because it keeps on going. You guys need to sit down. Oh, Wolf is here. Okay, now we can go back to the Tomfas. Let's fight him with Tomfas. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, he caught me! What the? Caught you. Set of Gantzlots in it. I already have four in it, so I don't really care about the rank of one. He just got owned real bad. I don't know why he turned into stone and then nothing. I mean, I didn't really hurt him that bad. 
I don't think I inflicted petrification. I don't know what all that was. Anyway, that was the end of chapter 15. It was basically Marvis, Zedonius, and Volf. All three of them back to back. So here we go. Underworld Abyss. Marvis didn't actually drop anything, which is kind of weird. Unless I have failed to pick it up. But I, I kind of think that they would have, like, prevented me from leaving the arena if that was the case. Alright, let's take Vigorian Flail to two. It's the only thing left to level up. I don't need to level up Tiger's Claw and Dragon's Fang. Because, or Tiger's Fang and Dragon's Claw, whatever that double katana is, because it gets leveled to four automatically later on in the story. Same reason why I didn't level up the Dragon Sword. What is my playset for Omega Glendios? That's a good question, because I do want to play that deck. Uh, but I... I don't know. I think it'll be one of every reverse Grade 3, uh, plus 4 Glendios, and the other reverse Link Joker unit. Agmayori Sumera Magwa Yodum Yomi Yomots Magazaka Agmayori Sumera Magwa 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 Whatever that is Magwa <laughs> This is some like demonic Harry Potter stuff going on <laughs> oh yeah, I think you do get to fight Dagradai. That guy, the, the dude right there is Dagradai. I think he's supposed to be the main villain of the game. But he's not really memorable at all because he's only in like two cutscenes and I think you fight him in this chapter? Or maybe the next chapter? I think it's this chapter. This is why I love Tampa. You just wail on them. Just... You just wail on all everything. Izuna drop. Guillotine throw. Those guys tried their hardest to put up a fight. It didn't work. I, I gave up on the crystal skulls. Dang, look at that. Triple! What? Critical. That's like a double crit trigger right there. Look at these crit triggers. <laughs> Man, you just hear all the crunching sounds. They never even stood a chance. Decapitated this one, the last one. He's inside some giant, like, fish thing or something. <laughs> oh, look who it is. It's this guy. <laughs> the decor here never really suited my tastes. But no matter. With you by my side. I don't know, I, I, I guess we... Exquisite new world. We skipped the cutscene, but somehow he captured Sonya. I don't remember exactly how he did that, because I thought we... Last time I checked, we beat him up at the Statue of Liberty. He got beat up real bad, so I'm not sure why he's here as though nothing happened. Oh. What? Oh, 
Oh, this weapon, I mean, this Nympho is really not that good uh, against these cheesy little enemies. That one got d because he was too close. He was standing too close to me when I did the use him to drop. Tengu. Okay, I'm gonna get the red one. Ouch. You're next. Oh, he's going to drop to me? That's so... That's from Dead or Alive. That move. The blue one is actually... The smarter one. Because he's the cautious one. Oh, I should have held block before, uh, before absorbing the blue because I would have healed all the way to full health. Alright, there's a save coming up. has got some dodges. Got him. That purple one put up a fight, man. Look at him. Look at the purple one go.
All right, that's the way forward, but what's over here? There must be like a treasure or something over here. Oh boy. Um, well, you know what? I love Tonfa. <laughs> oh, that was ghost fish. This is such a troll room. Like, it's got caves. It's got ghost fish in a treasure chest. And a bunch of, like, those scorpion things that can overwhelm new players who don't know how to, like, deal with that stuff. I'm surprised though, I haven't seen any, uh, I haven't seen a single crystal skull in a long time. This is very Devil May Cry. Okay, there was ninjas, like, in that cocoon. I killed him in just like a new way of, of fighting. <laughs> Alright. Where's the crystal skulls, man? I haven't seen one in like forever. No more of this item can be carried. Throws him again. Throws him a third time. Man, that guy's got a really strong neck. Alright, well, look, his head fell off. That's what happens if you get thrown from a guillotine throw three times in a row. packs of like one purple and like two orange oh what there's some like giant spider-man in here we got over here. 
Okay, I needed that. That's the way forward, so is there anything else? Oh, there's a save. And then... Nothing. Alright. Uh, I'm liking all the weapons in this game so far. Every single one of them is amazing. Alright, just in case for Nimpo. For the Nimpo, I'm actually gonna go with... Man, my Piercing Void is not level 3. So, I guess I'll go with... Windblade? Well, you know what? Okay, I'll, I'll go with... Uh... No, we'll go with Inferno. It's level 3. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna go with that. No more of this can be carried. I think my favorite weapon in this game is probably Lunar. I like Tomfa a lot though. But it's hard to use and I'm not really the best person with Tomfa. Like I've seen a lot of people play back in the day when I used to play co-op with other people Sonya. I've seen what some really good people use Tonfo oh, a beautiful canary trapped in a cage stop it oh yes that's it yes sing for me <laughs> sing again and again The Dragon Ninja is here! You better believe it! You will die! I don't think so. Oh, what? How do you do that? I forgot how to block that. Well, okay, that's Alexi. I think the only one left is Elizabeth. I'm trying to think. Dagra, Dai, and Elizabeth are the two only remaining fiends. Or greater fiends. Ryu, and then I guess the I'm arch so fiend. Sorry. Sonya, stay here and don't move. Understood?
That was that? So Alexi was the only boss in that whole chapter? Alright, poison blood. I think this is it. This is the last one. To save Sonya, Ryu fought his way through a sea of blood filled with vengeful spirits reanimated by the evil of the underworld. Now he confronts the queen of the greater fiends in a final battle to the death. Dagra dies. Evil incantations are complete. The resurrection of the arch fiend is at hand. The dragon ninja walks the blade to bring life and death. So we've killed Marbus, Alexi, Zed, and Volf. That's four greater fiends. So there's only two left and the arch fiend. I had to use one healing item against that guy. This is it, the final battle. That much damage to me? I don't know if we're gonna find another one of these, but I'm just gonna buy one anyway, since we have so much essence. going straight up Super Saiyan 3 on all these guys. Someone did a Kamehameha wave. Nothing left to collect here, unless there is a crystal skull somewhere. I haven't seen one in like several chapters now. I have a feeling. I feel like there's probably something in the water. Do you think I should go in the water? Or rather, the blood? Is anything down here worth looking for? Probably not. This place is this is like the really gross area. Like every, there's all blood everywhere. Nothing's in here. Maybe on the other side? How are you, like, on land, dude? Nothing. So nothing at all. those can be used.
Genshin became a fiend? Genshin, go back to hell. All right, this. Fiend Genshin is different from human Genshin. In the sense that you can't you can't Izuna drop him. Not bad, Genshin. Put up a fight there. He did better than he ever did. <laughs> now, granted, he basically had to go Ma Jin to fight me. All grows dark and silent. I have staked my name. I have fought with all of my being. All to forge a future for the Black Spider Clan. I have no regrets. Just as you have pursued a cause greater than yourself, so too have I. Dragon Ninja, Take my cursed blade. This is it. And she. Absolutely useless. I gave you the everlasting life of a fiend, yet you threw it away. <laughs> Undone by your pathetic sentimentality. Even in death, you could never understand him, Elizabeth. <laughs> this is it. Now we have the Blade of the Arch Fiend, level 4. This is the reason why I did not level up Tiger's Claw and Dragon's Fang beyond level 2. Because you get a plus 4, a level 4 for free, essentially, in the last chapter. So the only weapon I never got to max level is the Vigorian Flail at level 2. Everything else is maxed out. She's probably one of the hardest bosses. She's one of the most dangerous, and she's one of the few bosses that can actually heal. She can absorb your health and heal. You know one thing I will say, after all these years, 
I feel like playing Dark Souls... Dark Souls has made me, like, way better at these type of games. It teaches you patience. It's hard to be patient sometimes, w watching the boss do their thing. Clear why Genshin decided to help her. I don't know if that was ever explained why the Black Spider Clan was helping the fiends or the Arch Fiends. Apparently, when he kills them the second time around, they turn into dust. There we go, the final one. Actually, Dagra Dai is the only one left. So Elizabeth's dead. Alexi, Valve, Zed, Marbus. Although Marbus kind of didn't really count. I really don't think there's anything else in this room. What about Genshin? If we interact with him, will he will he give us like a free wish on the gacha? Nope. He's dead. Alright, we got his cool sword, though. I'm gonna keep using his ultimate weapon. The Cursed Blade. Man, this sword's sharp! I feel like this Izuna drop gets the most air. I'm impressed. This guy actually survived that. He survived an ultimate technique. Crazy Dagger Guy. Magwa. I like how they all get quiet. Still hungers for blood. The sacrifice is inadequate. It must have more!
Oh, that's maxed us out again. All right, well, we don't have to buy anything. All right, this is it. The door to Kingdom Hearts. All four of them. He defeated all four of the greater fiends. Marvis is the fifth one. He doesn't count. It's kind of sad. <laughs> he just walks in like a boss. He just has that ninja walk. He's just doing that two-step walk it out. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is straight up hilarious. Dragon Ninja. <laughs> His true form. I almost completely forgot about Dagradai, but he is the final boss. He looks like he's from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> what is this? This ain't One Piece. He's fighting like pirate things with demons. I honestly. I, I vaguely remember this fight. Can I flying swallow him? Can I just flying swallow him the whole time? Wait, you can like flying swallow this like he's Doku from like Ninja Gaiden 1? Frames. I need those eye frames. And supreme, my flesh and blood become your sacrifice. He sees no other way. <sighs> this is it, the ultimate arch fiend. The most powerful creature known to man. This is very Devil May Cry. Like, Ninja Gaiden 2 actually surprisingly has a lot of, like, Devil May Cry influences in it. This looks like something out of that DMC spinoff game. Did he just fall down? Wait a minute. Where is he? Oh, I fell down or did he? I thought the boss fell down. Oh, 
I see. Okay, it's been so long. I don't remember this fight at all. He's fighting a giant Ninja Turtle. Really ugly ones here. What am I supposed to do? I don't remember how to fight this guy. Oh, you just shoot him in the eyes? Well, yeah, like I said, I, I don't really remember this fight. This is a weird final boss fight. It's something you shoot in the face with a cannon, with a hand cannon. Strange fight. Oh. Can I hit his hand? What? Oh, okay. I think I remember what to do. Kind of like the boss of the first game, where you had to use a lot of ranged things. That's all I remember. That doesn't seem right. Maybe that is right. How do we get up there? Oh. This makes me think of the Great Hollow in Dark Souls 1. I don't know why, even though it looks nothing like it. It probably seems like an action game. Man, 
he's climbing up fast. I guess this guy's name was Archfiend? Archfiend or Ninja Turtle or something? Apparently that was the most powerful fiend ever. Ryu is not impressed. <laughs> he was not impressed at all. That was... It's kind of like a Zenojiba. It reminds me of Zenojiba in Monster Hunter. That was the final boss, guys. <laughs> it was so... anticlimactic? Well, well, it was a big boss. It was a big enemy. But in this game, I feel like the, the underlying theme... Like, somebody in the design team... Wanted to fight... Wanted to put Ryu up against so many, like, big, giant things. Like the Statue of Liberty, a giant Buddha statue... The final boss is another giant NPC thing that you have to kill. And I, I guess they were influenced by things like Lord of the Rings. Uh, so the first game, I got a lot of Star Wars vibes. The second game, I got like a bunch of Lord of the Rings stuff. So Mount Doom, Mount Fuji is basically Mount Doom. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh man, I don't even remember this. Okay. Okay. This looks like Devil from Tekken. But look, again, another giant boy. He's walking! This guy's dead. And that was that. Alright, that was more of a final boss, but again, it was another enemy that stands on the end of a platform with two giant arms that you have to attack the left and the right side. Kind of like, uh, Wallinor in Dark Souls 3. That's, that's literally what, like, the fourth boss in this game that's like that? Buddha, Buddha, statue, this thing. I think there was, like, another one.
the end of this game is very similar to the end of the first game. So he returns Genshin's sword to that battlefield. This game had a better soundtrack than the first game. Well, the first game did have some pretty good music. All right, guys, that's Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. I, I wanted to finish it all in one stream, but those last three chapters were a little bit much. I think we played, what, chapter 4 through 14? We played, like, no, I think we threw 15? I don't remember. I think we did, like, 10 or 11 chapters in one stream, which is a lot for an action game like this. We have, oh, uh, the Elden Ring trailer is out. I watched the IGN Japan thing about it. So we do have a release date for Elden Ring now. <clears throat> January 21st of next year. So that's like half a year to wait. Um, but that game has been one that's been in development for a long time. I, I have a feeling... My theory is this. Now, I don't know anybody at From Software, but my theory is that after they finish Dark Souls 3, the team the team that finished Dark Souls 3 started work on Elden Ring and Derasene, or maybe they also did Derasene. Derasene was that VR PlayStation VR game that's actually surprisingly good. Uh, for a VR game, man, I, all I can say is whatever From Software comes out with, they never disappoint. Like, no matter what the genre, they always do a good job. Even, like, with something kind of new, like VR, Derasene is a very good VR game. Um, if only the technology was a little bit better for VR, I feel like that would have been, like, super good. But anyway, so I think the team, either the team that worked on Elden Ring made Derasene, because I see a lot of influence from that game and Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne in there. Uh, but the, I think the team, the B team, which is the team that made Dark Souls 2, which is the one Dark Souls game that was met with a lot of like mixed reviews. It's kind of like the Razor's Edge of Dark Souls. Uh, if, if people understand what that means. But uh, I think the B team is the team that made Sekiro. Now, I can't prove that, but I think they worked on Sekiro, and the A-Team, the team that made uh, Dark Souls 3, and maybe Bloodborne also, uh, worked on Elden Ring. So, I think the B-Team did Sekiro and Dark Souls 2, uh, and I don't know, I guess they're working on something right now. But Elden Ring is coming out next year, so that's going to be another game that I want to play, I'm looking forward to, although I am kind of tired of the whole Dark Souls thing, although because it's been so long since we've gotten a new Dark Souls. The only other similar game is either like Ninja Gaiden Masters Collection or the Neo series. Oh, this is the, this is the hidden scene. Darkness is destined to lift in the end. I still have much left to do. 
See, so Kasumi was shown there. She was not shown in Ninja Gaiden 2 at all, but she was shown in the Sigma series. You've unlocked the path of the Master Ninja difficulty. All missions have been unlocked in Tag Missions. All courses have been unlocked in Ninja Race. So I think the only thing... You've unlocked Blade of the Archfiend for Tag Missions. See, so the only thing you get... And, and a new costume. Uh, and a new costume for Ayane. And a new costume for Momiji. And a new costume for Rachel. So now I'm really wondering, what do you get from completing Mentor Mode? Because people were telling me, you should play on Mentor Difficulty. Well, I'll only play on Mentor Difficulty if there's a reason to. Like, if they're gonna give me a costume that's that's gated by completing Mentor Mode, then I will look into it. But see, like, look. Let's go back here. We've already unlocked, just by playing normal, I've already unlocked all the hardest ma uh, missions. Like, also, these are the top five hardest missions in the whole game. Uh, these... These three in particular are the hardest ones. Well, yeah, all three of these are the hardest ones. This one, not so much. This one is a little bit harder than this one, but no, these two are not as hard as these three. Um, yeah, the, I remember these. these are, some of these are pretty tough. Like, that one's pretty tough. Where's the one with Alexi and... Okay, that's the one with Alexi and Genshin. Or Fiend Genshin. Mentor. See, I already got, like, all these unlocked just by beating the normal difficulty. So what I want to know is what costume, okay, that costume is from clearing normal mode. So if they have, if someone can prove to me that the Dynasty Warriors costumes are in this game from clearing mentor mode, I will consider clearing this game again on mentor mode. Not right now, but uh, so this is the costume you get. So let's see. So what about Rachel? What did Rachel get? Rachel got new hair. And... Okay, this costume is the new one? That one? This one? I, no, this one was already there. This one was the one I used. This one is the default one. So this is the new costume. So, unless... And then Ayane... This is the new costume. No, because that was there. Oh wait, no, this one? Clearing her, clearing her chapter unlocked a costume. I, I guess it was this one. And then clearing the game on normal unlocked this one. So the only other costume that they could have are the Dynasty Warriors costumes, which you had to clear Mentor Mode to get those. So this is the costume that I got from clearing her story chapter. And this is the one from clearing Normal Mode. So yeah, the only, the only thing I'm thinking is if you want the Dynasty Warriors costumes, you have to clear Mentor Mode. Uh, so that would that's some incentive to go back and replay this game again um, I certainly felt like this game was a bit on the easy side. I felt like this was easier than Sigma one to be honest um, Let's do one. Let's go ahead and do one of these. I'm gonna play as uh, Let me see let me, let me see Momiji No, let, let me play as Ayane with the new with this classic costume and then we'll put Momiji as the partner using this they don't have anything to choose from so let's let's clear this mission let's see how tag battle works because they got rid of co-op it used to be you had to play with another player oh yeah that's cool okay so you press It'll be interesting trying to clear the ultimate ninja difficulty missions with uh, two, with one AI character. Because in the original game, the AI was pretty much trash for anything above Mentor. You couldn't really rely on them, the AI. You had to actually get another player. Let's see if the AI in this game is better. All 
Alright, I'm going Ayane now. I like being able to switch between them though. This is new. This is this is new stuff, guys. This was not in the original. You could not switch between characters. She fell down. What? Can they please run at me? Can they please run at me? Run bring them to me. Bring them to me. Yeah. Alright, I'm going back to Momiji. I'm going Momiji. Let's go. The captain, team captain. Chop him up. Yeah. I love how she can absorb essence while off of her double jump and go straight into the ultimate technique. Fun guys, I feel like the ultimate, the co-op is the re where the replay is at. In this, if I really want those, if those Dynasty Warrior costumes are in the game from clearing Mentor, I will probably go back and clear Mentor in a future stream. Not, not, not coming soon. So if you want to see me clear Mentor, you're gonna have to be on the on the, I guess, watch list or wait list for that. Oh, that guy came up quick. Oh, that's cool. Momiji, like, picked up off of uh, Ayane's ultimate technique. What will truly prove if the AI is better than they were in the past is how they do on the higher difficulty level. Because they had to rework the difficulty because if you don't have, like, competent allies in this... Can you please run over to me? There we go. Because there's no way to command them. And that was that. That's pretty fun. I think uh, that's going to be where the replayability in this game is going to be at. And upload those results. Alright, but that's Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Uh, I'm probably going to do another stream of me doing these missions. Like, the next stream is probably going to be me grinding through these after we complete Razor's Edge. So, now what I want to do is play Razor's Edge. We're going to take a look. So we're going to exit out of that. And then we're going to look at... This game does have a problem quitting out for some weird reason. Alright, now we're going to take a look at Razor's Edge. Go ahead and add it here, switch this over to Razor's Edge. Alright, so this is the final Ninja Gaiden game on the collection. This game had some interesting things. So it had it had like the ability to train your own, create your own character and train them up as a ninja. 
and you could play them in co-op and PvP it was kind of interesting, but that's not in this mode. So I guess we're just gonna do new game. Wait, is uh, so Ninja Trials are not unlocked. So I guess you have to clear the story mode. We're gonna play on normal because there's no reason to play on hard mode. And we're gonna go with, uh, I guess, this costume. And this game has some really messed up contrast, so I'm just gonna turn the brightness up a lot, so it's easy for everyone to see. Alright, so they tried to go with like a crazy story. Be careful, Hayabusa. Falcon dive. But see, like, if I recall, you can do that. How do you... Inferno and Dragon Sword. So, you, so the weapons are in the game. I think you just get them as you play through. Oh, man, this feels bad. Like, this is slow. What is going on here? Why is he not, like, dodging? Am I supposed to be doing something that I'm supposed to? Oh, wait. This is blocked? Okay, hold up. Hold up. Why are the controls different in this game compared to the other two games? possible to change this? Block, aim, shoot, center, camera. Okay, I'm gonna go with type E. Type E is what the other games are running on. The reason why I was taking up so much damage was because I wasn't even blocking. I was holding down what I thought was the block button. Be careful, Hayabusa. All right, that's weird that they went and changed it. All right, let me make sure. <laughs> and also, the other thing that's weird about this game is the way he dodges is he, like, does a weird, like, this type of strange forward slide, which is really odd. So... It's, I guess it's about, oh, I just, whereas you could already do, like, Izuna drop and all the cool moves, right from the start. In this game, you can't. You have to level up your weapon again. So, so it goes back to the way the first game played. So you can't do Izuna Drop. But you can chain together something called Steel on Bone. So it, where it plays almost like Onimusha. You chain steel on bone. So when you see them do a red thing, it's kind of like playing Neo. It's like in Neo 2, when you see them do their red, you count, you do a burst counter. It's kind of like burst countering from Neo 2. Like that, that's a burst counter. And you can heal. That's the only way you can heal. So it's like one of the most important things you have to learn to do, do in this game. You have to go for those, uh, what they call it, steel on bone. Like that right there. See, I gained a little bit of health back from doing that. And because there's no healing items in this game, compared to the other two games, so... 
you have to master steel on bone chain chain combos in order to heal yourself in this game. I hate the way, I mean, this is worse than like, okay, his dodge, his dodge step like this that I'm doing is fast. It's just as fast as Ninja Gaiden 2, but the animation just looks so fake and weird compared to the first one. Wait, something's there. And they tried to go, this is the era when they tried to go with all these like quick time events. Grab. We can't do anything with that thing around. Dead end. You have to find another route. Nice work, Ninja. Watch it. The bloke's another jack open. The weird fucking. Come on, give us another pen. No sign of target yet. Oh, and they tried to put kind of like stealth elements. Stealth elements into this game. I guess to make it more like an engine. Come on, do it. Come on, somebody do your little thing. Oh, not with this guy around. There we go. There we go. See what I mean? Basically, you chain steel on bone, and you can like basically one shot a lot of things. There's another one. There's another one. You can basically roll it into a bunch of enemies. Obliteration techniques are still in the game. But this steel on bone chain combo, it says steel on bone on the left side there. Obliteration technique. I like how it shows the stuff in the words. That is one thing that I like. Steel on bone. Because that gives that steel on bone chain combos give you a lot of points. Like way more more than ultimate technique and obliteration technique. Ultimate Technique. Okay, Ultimate Technique does do a lot of points. Steel on Bone. And then saving is through the Falcon now. Or the Hayabusa. Instead of... Oh, he just gives me a new weapon. Okay. I guess, uh, I guess we'll use it. It's kind of weird how all the buttons are remapped to different things. I live? How do I do guillotine throw? Did they change it? That's how we get out of here. Helicopter, deal with them while 
I don't have any of the moves yet. I can't do Izuna drop. I tried it. It didn't work. So they tried to add like some kind of stealth stuff. They tried to make it more like a weird Metal Gear Solid game. I couldn't tell what I was doing. People were like shooting rockets at nothing. People just spraying and praying. <laughs> oh, great. You have so many like quick time events in this game. It's such a strange thing, because it's like you can't you can't heal. There's no healing items. So you basically have to button mash. <laughs> you have to button mash <laughs> when you get really low on health. Oh man, what the why am I in here? Why am I behind this thing? I try to, I try to jump away from it, and it's like, okay. I mean like it doesn't it's such a stupid like the combat is so it's still good but why am I I don't know Alright, well that's two deaths. I didn't die a single time in Sigma 2. I've died twice already in Razor's Edge on the first level. That's due to the lack of... I don't know, it's, it's due to the lack of healing items for one thing. I guess you just have to keep doing the, the Surfer move.
How do you build up? Two tries. This is the third try. Amazing. Such power. We're heading for the residence. Roger. Now you can level up the stuff in here. So, how does it, uh... Skill's already been unlocked? How do you level it up? Oh! 150,000. So you use Karma to level things up. And if, if you want to learn this stuff, like, okay, I need to learn Flying Swallow. I need to learn... I want Guillotine Throw. But I need Wind Path. I can't believe you don't even have Wind Path. Counter Attack's good. I'll take counterattack. Four rings. I'm just storm of Kunai. No, I don't really need that. What is this? Use key to no. Enter a state of meditation and use key to cover health. That's cool. All right, that is one thing that's a little interesting. So there is a way to heal. Teleports around now. There's a crystal skull. The crystal skulls work differently in this game. Instead, it's a challenge.
I don't have guilt team throw yet. Basically, it's more like uh, it's like Ninja uh, Devil May Cry in terms of you get the, you want to make as much karma points as you can get. That way, you can level you can basically level up faster because you want to level up your skills and weapons and stuff using karma in this game. Since there's no shops, there's none of that stuff. I don't know why they decided to oversimplify a lot of these things because I feel like the the shop and the upgrade system in the first two games were basically, like, staples of the series. I think Genshin... Phil, I thought Genshin was gonna be the boss here. I need that. I need I need one of them to do that red thing. Oh, not like that. Oh, I missed it. The fiend did it. The fiends are harder to, to do that on because they go in the ground. I'm waiting for one of the humans to do it. There we go. I needed that for some healing. It's weird how that's your way of healing. That's that's why I don't know. The community's probably pretty divided on the way that system works. There we go. Oh, it's Doku. Doku. Whatever. I get him when I'm stronger, I guess. That was... But see, that's the thing. That's the stupid thing is you can't heal. So those, so you make one little mistake and you can't... You have to repeat the whole challenge again. And I'm like, I'm not going to do that. That kind of sucks, though. You do all that and nothing. 
Although I think I get to keep all the karma. I think I get to keep all the karma that I got. I mean, one thing I don't like is that there's no way to see. Okay, you can see this. Never mind. I got 150. So at least you get to keep your karma? Meditation. Enter a state of meditation to use key to recover health. Okay, so there is a healing thing. I need guillotine throw. So I got to keep the karma. I think if you clear the boss, though, in those challenges, you get, like, an extra thing. Or maybe just a whole bunch of karma. I don't know. There's no... You know where the hostages are being held? No, There's no uh, healing the items or nothing. It's so it's so watered down. Watch yourself, Golden scrab. Damn. Hayabusa, what's wrong? There's blood. Are the hostages the higher level your weapon, the longer the steel on bone combo. Another scrap. I need those steel on bone so I can level up my weapon. Alright, well that, that challenge I think did help. So wait, how do I... Well... I don't really need to do that, but... I think the healing thing is like super important. been waiting for you, hero. Who are you? Let's dispense with the introductions and get straight to the killing, shall we? Come, Ryu Hayabusa. <laughs> 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 this is kind of a cool... The red guy is a memorable villain, sort of. Claws are like really good against this guy. You know, all that training in like Dark Souls and Neo and stuff, I think it's made me better at hitting enemies with Nympho will heal you. Okay. Mama. 
He cursed him. Open your eyes, Ryu Hayabusa. So basically, just like in the first game where you get cursed by uh, Doku and you turn blue, this guy put a curse on him and made his arm get all messed up. So, how does it feel to suffer? Now he's like uh, Dumbledore and Harry Potter and the Half of Blood Prince. No, no. We are both steeped in the blood of our countless victims, my brother. Farewell until we meet again. Hayabusa, respond. He has the guy's sword. Hayabusa. I'm fine. Listen, radar has picked up a missile incoming. One minute to impact. You need to get out of there. I guess we're going the right way. There's got to be a way out somewhere. One thing I don't like is there's no healing items, though. That does kind of mess up with this game. You have to readjust how you play the game a lot. But in a way, I guess it does force you to play more, I guess, carefully. I'd hope the mighty dragon ninja would have put on more of a show. Uh, no matter. Begin the next phase. Yes, sir. I don't remember how many chapters this game has, but I, I feel like it's significantly shorter than the first two games. This is a much newer game relative to the first two. Well, first one was 2004, second one was 2008, this one is 2012, uh, well, yeah, 12. So, I mean... The one thing that's different, I've noticed, is that the costume that you choose shows up in the cutscenes. What's the situation? The soldiers withdrew once the residence was destroyed. All right, well, the story's, you know, whatever. So, the grip of murder. So, we have almost 150,000. Use key to instantly evade an enemy attack. I mean, I, I want to level these up, so I'm going to wait until I get enough to level up the sword and the claw, and hopefully we can find Lunar. Oh, Nimpo. 75,000. I can already level that up. Oh, these are the costumes. Three. Three. What is that? Three million? Three million karma? To get the traditional dark blue? That's cool. One thing is for sure, it does load fast. Story so far. Hayabusa, urgent call from HQ. Transmission source has been identified. All right. Who's there? Ninja. We have no sword. Oh, we don't have a weapon, because his sword is, like, bonded to his arm via that curse. So all we have is the bow. What's that sound? Oh, great.
He has some cool looking bow, I'll give you that. The bow in this game looks pretty cool. It's been a while, Master Once again, Ayane, again. <laughs> oh, Hayate is giving us his sword. Make sure you bring it back in one piece. It's just a <laughs> we got a new sword. <laughs> okay. Tell I said thanks. You should have someone in the village take a look at that arm. <laughs> you should have someone look at that arm, I know, yeah. <laughs> Something I need to finish first. <laughs> that arm looks pretty cool. You want to touch it? <laughs> She's like, no, <laughs> I'm at it. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> He's like, whatever. All right, let's let's try the let's try the sword again. Jinran Maru. What does she know about this place? Do I have Izuna drop? I guess I need to. I want to get this thing up to level two. Wait, how do I? Why why is that thing here? How do I get this? Okay. They took that from Dead or Alive Five. Dead or Alive Five had the thing with the moves. Because this game and Dead or Alive 5 are around the same age. They both came out around the same time. I don't think there's anything around here to get. I mean, this game is pretty bare bones. Although, the original Ninja Gaiden 3 was even more bare bones. Like, you literally only had the, the Dragon Sword. You didn't even have other weapons in that game. At least they brought back the weapons in this game. I can't wait to get Lunar. Oh yeah? What? I need... I need steel on bone. Can you guys please somebody spam steel on bone? Whatever. There we go. There's one of them. But that's like not enough. But that recovered some health. I really need steel on bone. I've got to redo this. This game's significantly harder because there's no way to heal reliably. Yeah, this game is harder actually. Well, okay, it's not really harder, it's just artificially harder. Do I have guillotine throw? Okay, good. The problem is you have to manage your... The problem is you're like stuck in fights and you can't escape. You can't like run away if you want to. And you're also dependent on the RNG of the enemies doing... spamming the red move. There we go. There's one. There we go. That was a big combo. That was good.
I need that steel on my bone. Oh, too far away. Oh, my chance. My chance. Steel on bone. My key is full. Steel on bone, steel on bone. See, that's a good way to heal. Steel on bone is like your best, most reliable way to heal in this game. More healing right there. So you have to kind of play the game. It, it forces you to play the game in a, a one certain way. So there's not like there's no, not a lot of diversity in what you can do in this game. That's why it's like the black sheep of the Ninja Gaiden series. Because it plays very differently. All right, I think I can get this to level two. Yeah, level two. I really want that Lunar Staff. I don't know where it's at. I haven't played this game in so long that I don't remember where anything is. And I never really spent much time replaying this game. All right, now we got Wind Blades. We're gonna go ahead and equip that. Extra health has been unlocked. You can learn this skill in the Ninja Skills menu. Extra health. Learn this skill immediately. Because you need like a, the most HP you can possibly have because there's no healing item. I think I have Izuna drop. Do I not have it? I guess I have to learn it. It might be a skill that I have to learn from the tree. I don't know, what do you guys think? Anyone who's in the chat, or anyone watching the stream, do you guys like Razor's Edge? Is it your least favorite? Is it your most favorite? If so, why? So far, I've had the most fun playing Ninja God and Sigma 2. We'll see. I'll see how well I like this game um, once we're at least halfway through. The ninja is broken through. He's heading this way. What? All units stay alert. Check magazines. A golden scram. Set your target. Everybody. <laughs> Set your target. Uh, all of them. Like, 
guy got cut in half. Steal on bone, steal on bone, steal on bone. Oh, there's a guy with missing a limb. I have to OT him quick. Steal on bone, steal on bone. I need someone to do steel on bone. Give me that steel on bone. Here we go. Steel on bone. Steel on bone. Steel on bone. Oh, yes. Big combo. OT. Is there a motorcycle? Got level two now. All right, what can we level up now? I got the heal. Well, let's try to heal. Oh, snap, that's cool. You can heal. That's like one of the most important things you have to learn because that's the only thing the way to heal outside of combat. Um, I really want the Lunar Staff, man. This is, I, was, I got so, so spoiled by that weapon in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Is there like a Crystal Skull somewhere? It's a good way to get a Karma, regardless of whether I fail it or, or not. Oh, I didn't even need to use the healing because there was a save point coming up. They don't want to do their move. You know nothing about this game? Yeah. Well, it's Razor's Edge. So it's the one that people probably know the least about. It's, it's the least played Ninja Gaiden game. To be honest. I mean, I think the only other one that's less played than this one is probably the original Ninja Gaiden 3. Because this one was an attempt by the developers to fix the negative feedback they got. Oh yes, this thing. Wait, what are you supposed to do there? Oh, these are the, like, alchemists? I forgot, what, how do you, what's their, uh... 
I find these guys more annoying than the alchemist with swords. I guess UT is like a good way to beat them. I'm gonna target this one. What? They have stupid shields? These are probably one of the dumbest opponents in the game. Because they have this stupid move. Like, who thought of that? And there's no way to heal, so you basically have to redo it. I mean by dumb? It's called bad game design. Who were those guys? They seemed different than the others. Those guys seemed really dumb rather than different. Those, those are the worst character design or enemy design in the game. I'm, I'm sure there's an easy way to figure out like what's the pattern to steal on bone them. Basically, you have to steal on bone them. That's the only way to beat them and even then it's like hard to figure out what the read is on that For like some kind of weird Tomb Raider action sequence. You okay, Hayabusa? I'm in the dome. Where should I go? I lost your coordinates in the. I think there's gonna be a crystal skull in here. I got you. See, this is what I mean though. It's like rinse and repeat. Room of random enemies you can't escape. No platforming, like very little of any at all. Like very, almost nothing. Just mindless this, that's it. Wait, was there a crystal skull? I have a feeling there was a crystal skull somewhere in here. Was this the only room? Okay, it seemed like no backtracking either. Your 
position and visual feed. All right, let me see what else we can upgrade. Nothing. I really want a new weapon. Not that Hayate's sword is not bad. Or bad. It's good, but... Uh, I don't know. I kind of want some other weapons. Was that? Still on bone, still on bone, still on bone, still on bone. Excuse me, I like how uh, the helicopter just fires away and those guys don't get hit at all. At least when Marvis. When you fought Marvis, he had friendly fire against the fiends. But I guess, no, they don't want that. Oh yes, we got Lunar. We got Lunar at last. Can I get to level two? Almost. I'm getting that thing to level two as fast as I can. One thing I want to know though, how do you... Where's Izuna drop? Okay, Izuna drop is at level two, so I should be able to do it. X, 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 four X is Y. It's that many hits. X, 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 Y, X, 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 Y? Really? It's gotta be done that way? So wait, does level one not have it? Yeah, it requires level two. What about Lunar? I guess Lunar can't do Izuna drop in this game. So I hope it has 360 UT. Otherwise, it might not even really be worth using. It looks... Everything has this weird, like, military look. Okay, maybe... Maybe, uh... Once I get it to level 2... It will have it. I'm taking you with me. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, there, there's definitely a crystal skull here. If I recall correctly, there should be a crystal skull somewhere up here. Yeah, there it is. It's up there. Uh, let me see. Is there a way to get to it from here? What? Seriously? Load from the checkpoint. Uh, that doesn't make any sense.
Oh, the chapter... There are less chapters in this game compared to the other two, but the chapters are pretty long. I don't want to say they're as long as, like, Ninja Gaiden 1 chapters, because some of Ninja Gaiden chap... No, some of Ninja Gaiden 1's chapters are really long, and others are not so much. Okay. Oh, check this out. Blue. Blue is the color. Oh my god, are you serious? What is up with the collision detection here? Come on. There we go. Alright guys, here we go. I'm doing this for the karma. We need to farm it up. Oh, this is probably going to be Alma? Still on bone combo. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll take it. Big combo. Oh, that was another one. I could have had that one. Because I don't do review. Uh. Well, the idea was a long time ago, and when I say a long time ago, like four years ago, the the goal of this channel on YouTube was to do exactly what the title says. Uh, but I don't know Do you want do you guys want that's a good question actually that, that's a very good question Do you guys want me you want to see me do game reviews? I mean I Feel like it's a little bit saturated. I feel like if you look up a game on YouTube You'll find like so many reviews of the game But I guess I could do it if if people want to see me do game reviews. I could do it. The original goal was to do hardware reviews and game reviews on the YouTube channel. The channel somehow became a channel focused around Cardfight Vanguard more than anything else. But I always wanted it to be something more than that. So I guess maybe I should do that. That's not exactly what I wanted to see happen here. I think the boss is coming. I think it's gonna be Alma.
No, I, I hear you. But uh, but that was the answer though. Like that the originally the goal of the channel was to do reviews on games, reviews on technology. I've actually been thinking of changing the channel name to something more appropriate for the content, but never really got around to it. Because I kind of still hold out on the idea of revisiting mo mainly technology info more than anything else, more than gaming. I feel like the gaming market is a little bit oversaturated right now. I might fail here. I might fail hard. How much, how much karma do I've got? Take this to level two. Alright, that's gonna put it like this. Let's try it out. Oh, there's no 360 UT in this game. This game is now officially my least favorite Ninja Gaiden game. Oh, this guy? Yeah, that's fail. This game sucks because there's like no way to heal. Alright, let's proceed. The whole purpose, purpose of doing that was to farm the karma to level up the Lunar Staff. So I already accomplished what I wanted. I would have gotten more karma if I beat the boss, but it doesn't really matter. Can I... Where's the Falcon at? Oh, the Falcon's gone. Okay, well that's good. You can still do the Yuzuna drop with the Lunar Staff. See what I mean though? The gameplay on this game is pretty... Pretty lousy compared to the other two. It looks kind of the same to someone who is not familiar with the series, but it's not. Trust me, it's not. The dodging is kind of wonky. The, there's no way to heal consistently. There's no way to like refill your Nimpo consistently. There's so many random quick time events like this, which doesn't actually make the gameplay better. Is there anything over here? Is there like a scrab over here? If it's still working anyway. Nope, nothing over here. I will say though, this is... I remember these, these chapters are pretty long. This is a pretty long level. Yeah! <laughs> 
Kind of salty there's no 360 UT. Oh yeah, you can't do steel on bone with the Lunar Staff, so it's like one of the lowest tier weapons in the game. Against humanoids, it's not it's not that good. Because you can't do this. Which is, which is like, unfortunately, your primary way of healing. But it is good against fiend, fiends. It's not good against humans. And there's no way to get out of that. Probably help if I kill the guys with the rocket launchers up there. Uh-oh, the group of murder. Here's like another thing that they changed. Razor's Edge has these these sequences called Grip of Murder. It's all about chaining steel on bone combos. See, everybody all the computer opponents will just randomly like spam the, the red so you can burst counter them. If you're familiar with Neo, when you when I say burst counter, you understand what that means. Still on bone, still on bone. Steel on bone combo. Those grip of murder sequences. You basically play the majority of this game's story with the curse. Unlike the first game where you were only cursed for I think like one or two chapters in the late game. Toward the very end. Hayabusa, are you, there? Come in. you literally have to get the curse from Doku's you okay, spirit and Hayabusa? get it, get rid of it once you kill the Emperor. Alright, Falcons here. But those combined with those crystal skull sequences are actually pretty good ways to farm uh, karma points. I don't know, I feel like the Nimpo... If these Nimpo moves actually cure me, then maybe it's worth... Like, if they heal more, then maybe it is worth leveling it up. I don't know. I, f I feel like the Nimpo in this game is also kind of... You, you have to use it because it's your only way to heal. Besides... Besides Steel on Bone. What the...
See all this projectile spam? And just wave after wave of enemy? This is a game that I'm really probably not going to replay ever again after this playthrough. I'm considering doing a mentor playthrough for Ninja Gun Sigma 2, though. If, if there are extra costumes to unlock. Oh, him again? It's kind of like, uh... Third boss? Ninja guy in Sigma 2? The one underground, the fish guy? Fly like an eagle. Or should I say, Hayabusa. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? I was like, what, what am I supposed to press? <laughs> it didn't tell me what I was supposed to do. Huh? <laughs> what? What? Are you serious? Ridiculous. What is it? What are you supposed to even do? See, this is why this is like the worst game out of the three of them. Evade and then what? What am I supposed to do? That's all you do? to the platform. See, this is... I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know how anybody would want to play this on a higher difficulty level. With the lack of healing items? It already feels like you're playing on a higher difficulty level. So, like, I don't know, guys. I don't know.
Finally! Okay, good. Just hang on? All I do is hang on, okay. It's easy enough. When do I get off? Okay. Lots of nimpo from that, or lots of karma, 200 and something thousand. This will take claws to level two. I care more about the weapons being leveled up than the, uh, oh wow. What is this? Use, use key to aim more accurately. Hold left trigger in the A. My PSV comparison did really well. Yeah, I know. And that's, like, actually, when I look at my videos, the ones that have most of the views, it's mostly the technology videos. That's why I feel like I should probably do more tech-related content. And, and I also get the most comments on my tech-related videos. Use key to aim more accurately. Hold LT. I guess... I don't know. I feel like the aiming is fine. Uh, Ninja Trials has been unlocked, finally. We're mainly playing this for the Ninja Trials. I think this is going to be Ayane's chapter. Yeah, okay, because it's purple. But when I look at my comments, most most of my tech-related videos get the most comments. Carvai Vanguard gets almost nothing. So, in terms of activity, I feel like... I'm not doing this for free, Irene. The government declared their opposition to the region to the lights. They acted way faster than we... Hold on. So, okay, so you can level up her weapon as well. Healing and all that stuff. And her nimpo, and you can unlock a costume. How did that grab me when I'm, like, so far away from him? How? What the? Alright, I think there's a scrab over here? Yeah. Everything we do in this game is just to collect karma. I don't know if you get anything from collecting the scrabs. The presidential residence. The resistance won't hold out for much longer. We have to hurry. One thing though, can you change the costume? Oh, you can change her costume? Like mid, that's cool. Let's get the original one though for this stage. We'll use that one on a different stage. Be 
Oh, that was wasted on one enemy. I noticed something. In this game, there's no, like, female enemies. So much for taking it easy in Paris. There's, I think there's, there were female, like, weird cat demons in the first game at the very, very end. And then in the, in the second game, obviously Elizabeth was, like, a greater fe female. But in this game, it's, like, nothing. It's all just, like, male commando dudes. And I guess there's, like, ninjas later on. Oh, there's a crystal skull over there. Okay, nobody wants to make a move. So, all right. <laughs> oh, I need that steel on bone combo. This is some random grab. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. Steel on bone. Oh, now we got commandos. Seems like they're working for the terrorists. What are they supposed to be? Like, these aren't ninja. These are. I don't know. The other guys look like mercenaries. What are these? Supposed to be like military? I don't know what this is. Special ops? They look like Tom Clancy. They look from like a Tom Clancy's game. Oh, that was a waste. These guys have a difficult steel on bone uh, thing because they go in the air. They do that like that flip. If they even do it. Well, that was surprisingly good against these guys. See, that was it, but I, I failed, because it has a long reach. Nice work, Linda. You should always fight like a little girl. Who are you calling a little girl? 
All right, so there is a crystal skull that we need to go find. Yeah, I think we have to backtrack. Uh, I should probably kill the guy that's in the, uh, truck. Another one? Okay, this is the trick. Whenever you see blue on the walls in this game, in all, any Ninja Gaiden game, it means there's a puzzle. See? There. Crystal Skull. I need to check something. Can I level her weapon? Yeah, I need to get that to level two. I think I could do Izuna. Now that I have the weapon at level 2, I think I can do it.
I have no idea who she's gonna end up fighting as the boss. See, it's very... The game doesn't have a lot of things you can do besides just spam your moves. You can't really combo. You can't really do, like... I don't know. Nippos are way, way less than what they were. Nice steal on bone combo. I really needed that combo too. And it came through. Who is it gonna be? Oh, it's Zed. Got him. That's the first sub. So Ayane came through. Hayabusa failed like on both of those challenges on his two chapters, but she got hers. Got a lot of karma from that. That was really good. 200,000 to get this level three. Uh, Get extra health. Get counter attack. What's this? Flying swallow? Yeah. Wind path. Might as well just get all these moves. Guillotine throw. The heal move. Upgrade her Nimpo to level 2. Yeah, basically get everything. Ayane is good, because Ayane is the only other playable character in the story mode. Momiji and Kasumi are in mission mode, and so you can play them. Oh, that was a big steel on bone combo right there. She got double S. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, so we did that, so now we just keep on going forward. I think she's more fun to play as in this game than Hayabusa is. Wow. 
Wow. I, it's so hard to read sometimes they do that instead of the the red. got it seems like her her gameplay in this is better than in the second game which is interesting because I feel like she the, the female characters were added as an afterthought to try to fix the issues of the first game karma does she have okay 35,000 not bad beating Zed helped a lot on that farm that was like a big farm Almost there. She has a pretty tough boss fight coming up. It's three of those sword alchemist guys. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. 
I can't tell who's who. This is so chaotic. I can't tell which one's the one that I've damaged the most. Okay, this one's almost dead. Alright, that one's dead. One left. Got him. <laughs> now it ends. <laughs> Don't even try to act all tough. Oh, they like shot down the missiles. <laughs> anti-air. <laughs> it's called anti-air. Looks like I got them in time. Seriously. You want to try not waiting until the last second to do that? So I hacked the transmission codes and got control of the communication satellite they were I think she has two more chapters. So I didn't really have to worry about Or maybe one. Or I think she has no, I think she has one other chapter. I can't remember. I, I'm done here. I know she has more than one though. Fine. You can use me a little longer. She's the only she's the only other ninja that's like out there doing stuff. Level three. Her weapon's already level three. Just like that. That was day two. Ayane has been unlocked in Ninja Trials. So I think to unlock Kasumi and Momiji, you have to actually play through the rest of the story. Basically, as long as I get as long as I get my HP max as fast as possible, like, the game is more manageable. I think this is the one where you have to fight the giant T-Rex, this next one. Arriving at objective. Yeah, okay, this is the one with the giant T-Rex. I hate this one. I don't like how they nerfed my favorite weapon in this game. Lunar is actually one of the weaker weapons because you can't ch you can't chain steel on bone with it. Because apparently it's a blunt weapon. Yeah! <laughs> 
I'll probably use it against the boss of this level, though. Impressive. Crazy, but impressive. I've never Oh, wait. This is one where you can use Lunar. Because I don't have a flail. I don't even know if the flail is in this game. stuff is waiting for you out here what can I level up what is that use key to instantly evade oh I can't level up my weapons anymore this will take that to level two and we will equip wind blade He like stabbed that dog with a staff in his neck. Look, they even changed XXY. XX. What? What is this weird like abomination? This lunar like replica. This isn't even the real deal. This charge fast. Scrab over there? Can you like hop over the bean bags? Like I got stuck floating above Ryu. This Bayman dude. Those, those guys' outfits are based off of Bayman from Dead or Alive. Alright, how much was that? Still not enough. Wow, I was so low on HP. I didn't even realize it.
Why do they have to nerf guillotine throw so badly? There we go. So it takes two, two throws. I think this costume is in Dead Alive 5. What? Oh my god, that's so stupid. You're so used to memory muscle, like, jumping over things in the other two games. Now you gotta, like, slide under them? See, like, you jump over that. They tried to go for some kind of weird, like, Tomb Raider thing. Again with a helicopter? Fight so many, like, military people. Oh, I can't. Another one? Man, just give me the other playable characters. I just want to play mission mode. I don't really care about the story mode. Third one? Wait, where's the... Where's the save?
game is more mentally exhausting to play than the other two. The pacing is just too... It's just one slaughter fest after another with like little of any substance in between. Is there going to be a save? Another stupid, what is this, another wall run? A wall jump? Uh, oh, I guess, okay, it's gonna be one of those weird, like, run wall into this thing, because they love doing this in this game. Thank you, finally. Okay. How much karma? Okay, we only have 90,000. Uh... I don't even know if these things are even really worth it. I don't really know how useful these moves are. I know that we were really low on HP, though. They even change the way you break out of, like, a grab. <laughs> he crushed that one with his foot. That guy walked out and just like straight up died. <laughs> Yeah! 
I wish you could do something like that with Lunar. Why did they, like, do such a stupid thing with where you can't do Steel on Bone with Lunar? Why the hate? It's one of the best weapons in the game. I guess they didn't want people just spamming. I mean, the only difference is you end up spamming with a different weapon. With a slightly not as cool move set. Well, he cut a lot of these dudes up. Maybe this isn't the T-Rex stage. I thought it was. It's either going to be this one or the next one. It could still be this one. Oh yeah, it's definitely this one. This is one of the most dreaded bosses in the game. Oh, that guy almost gave me a steel on bone combo. Yes. See, I feel like uh, the majority of my audience that watches most of my uploads not counting the technology videos, which I probably need to definitely put out more of, but with the situation as it is right now, where it's very hard to get electronics this whole year, uh, I feel like the vast majority of the people who watch my videos are watching the gacha games, like Genshin or Vanguard Zero, mainly Vanguard Zero, I would say. Oh, great. This stuff? I hate these guys. All they do is, like, charge... They're stupid, like... Okay, you know what? I wanna try...
Why can't you Izuna drop them? This stupid move, man. Who thought up this stupid combo? I'm gonna lose because of this stupid... That was a close one. I need steel on bone. Give me steel on bone. What are you guys doing? Give me steel on bone. What are you guys doing? Yeah. The grip of murder. Come on. Need a steel on bone. Yes, yes, yes. That was a good one. Here comes another one. Never mind. Yes, 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 yes. That was a nice one. Alright, I don't know how I made it past those alchemists. Those alchemists are the most dreaded enemy in this whole game. Out of the humanoid opponents. They're arguably harder than those sword boss alchemists. I don't know if there's a crystal skull out here. Um, but I don't... I don't really care to find out at this point. Let's get this chapter over with. See, all it does is it takes you in from one room Basically, we gotta do all the big steel on bone combos. I like how he automatically homes in on the guys who are stealth.
Some kind of weird museum. There's like a lot of weapons here. Artillery. I don't know who made all this stuff. Or where this is at. This is somewhere. Oh man, there's like a dinosaur. Look at this. Look at that dog. That's so gonna like jump out and attack me. See, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, they got they have invisible guys. Do I have Falcon Talon at level two? I think I do. Yeah, okay. I think the dogs are are weak to the There's all kinds of weird reptile things here, so that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of boss. Scrap. Why are these things in here so out of place? Oh, I need a uh, part out for this fight. Yeah, I think I have to restart it. I have to redo it. What? Yeah, I gotta redo it. That does too much damage, guys. Come on, there's like no heal items. This is gonna be a rip. That does way too much damage, seriously. Notice 
This game is not that enjoyable, man. It's honestly, like, probably the worst Ninja Gaiden game. What is this? What is this stupid nonsense? Just hit him in the face. I don't know, I've already like died more in this game than in the first one. I think I only had to do like three retries in the first game. I don't know any like proper strategies for this. Restart on here no. Just go rise again, yes, come on. His stupid like leg does too much damage. For a game where there's like no healing items. They expect you, I guess they expect you to play everything on this flawlessly. I shouldn't play so greedy. Why does it, like, when you lift him up, why doesn't it do damage to him?
That barely did... That barely did any damage. And then the thing, like, it untargets me? What was that? I might have to... Okay, hold on. Maybe Flying Swallow? Doesn't even do anything! Use Meteor? Meteor? Meteor's not gonna do anything. There is no Meteor. I don't understand what you're talking about. Inferno? This is pretty tough. This, is, this game is probably... I don't know. This is definitely harder than Sigma 2. <laughs> That's for sure. I found Sigma 2 to be the easiest. Not a single game over. And then we like, we're like we on like, what? 12 continues with this game? And 3 continues from Ninja Gaiden Sigma. 0 continues from Sigma 2. And we're like at 13 continues on this. Yeah, this is the hardest boss in the game. In the entire series. All because there's no healing items. Makes Elizabeth look like a walk in the park. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This might be the end of the run, or I might have to go into hero mode. Hmm. Dragon Sword seems to hurt him more? Flying Swallow is useless. Oh, Dragon Sword seems to be... Should be hitting me in the face. I might have to do this. Oh, I might have to use do this one stage on hero mode, and then like after it, go back to normal mode. Cause this is like ridiculously hard. It's starting making me feel like Dark Souls is easy. What is this? I, I do think the the dragon sword does seem to do. More damage? Bring it off. Show me what I think I got him with Dragon Sword. We'll see. Can't let that stuff happen though. The Nimpo also is charging. Can't use long range weapon. Uh, nope. Can't use long range weapons. Doesn't do zero. It does zero damage. This is like so stupid. This is why this game gets a lot of hate compared to the other two Ninja Gaiden games. 
Well, this isn't the only reason. We've already gone over, like, many of the other reasons. How... What? Basically, you have to play the fight flawlessly. You can't even make a single mistake. It has to be one of those no damage RNG runs. Yeah, I've lost too much health that I, I should reset. Just reset. Just reset. Dude, though, this is like... So bad. He does too much damage with his stupid headbutt. I think we're going to hero mode. <laughs> Show me your power. If I can't get him in the next three minutes, we're going to hero mode. Shit. Hold on, how do you... Can I even do that from here? Quit now, you will lose. Well, hold on. Is it going to... We'll see. I might as well, actually. Alright, just do it. Go hero mode. All right, now he's on. This is the easy difficulty. That's still like so much damage. That doesn't even make any difference. Do I do way more damage to him? I don't know. Hero mode doesn't even seem like it makes any difference. I'm still almost dead. Okay, so he still gets his body armor. Now now I can only hit him in the face. So now he, I have to let him like slam into the wall. I don't even know how I managed to do this the first time. It seems like so hard. Alright, well I think I figured out a different strategy. I think I might actually go back to normal mode. Oh boy.
He's got the full armor now. What? See, okay. This is the reason why I remember IGN's review of this game, not Razor's Edge, which is this one, but Ninja Gaia 3 OG got a 3 out of 10. This game got a 3 out of 10. Think about that. This is, a, this is like a popular franchise, and it got a 3. It says a lot. I am doing LB. It's gonna die? Hold LT. That was ridiculous. Are you kidding me? We He's not dead? What? That barely did any damage. Stabbed him in the head so much and he barely took any damage. Kill him. Kill the stupid thing. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Break that little peanut sized brain in there. Good riddance. The boss fight was absolute garbage. Oh, I don't want to talk to this guy. All right. So that was, uh, yeah, chapter three, or day three, they call it. And three, oh my god, wow. Going back to normal. <laughs> The thing about this game is you can always come back and play it. Now what? Oh, I guess he does. He's doing like some kind of dream sequence. I don't really care anymore. This game has the worst story, and everything about it is like very mediocre. The only saving grace of this game is the mission mode. The mission mode is all the only reason why we're actually playing it to unlock all the mission mode content. I wasn't kidding when I said I the T-Rex is my most hated boss this entire game. I think the only- there's two things that I hate in this game that feel like they weren't properly playtested. One is the T-Rex, the other one- okay, that's the actual boss. The, uh, the enemy that I think is not properly designed for this game are those alchemy dudes. Because they don't really feel fair, like, I don't know, they just don't really sit right with me at all in terms of game design. And what's up with, like, the same- the same, like, character enemies. It's always these generic mercenary looking dudes.
Now they're probably gonna bring like fiends or something in here. Phase one complete. Well done. Let's change the stage. Oh, now we're in like Ninja Gaiden 2. See, I, I don't understand the point of this. Like, I guess we're just farming karma, but it's always, it's like a bunch of, it's a bunch of like random, f just, you're just fighting random soldiers, ninjas, mercenaries with very little reason. Like, I, I don't know. It just seems like room after room after room of the same wave and wave of opponents. But you, my little falcon, will not leave this. Extra health. Uh, yeah. So the scrabs have a purpose in this game. Oh, this guy again? Like, why were we replaying these fights? I guess... Oh, uh, is this a uh, ninja guy? Oh, he broke out, he broke out. Broke out. The illusion's over, here we go. Four. All that was just like a prelude. Somehow he's in like some kind of science facility. I don't know, it's it's like, I sound like I'm hating on this game a lot, but it's like they took all the bad parts of what people didn't like about the original Ninja Gaiden 2, and they basically put all that stuff in this game. Whereas Sigma 2 kept all the good stuff about Ninja Gaiden 2, this game took all the bad stuff that was in Ninja Gaiden 2. 
That's the way I see it. Okay, I guess they don't want to do... That guy, like, came out of the room. He's already bleeding. I need a steal on bone combo. Having to hunt for these is so tedious. Because it's RNG. You gotta wait for them to do their little red. And you have to catch them in it, like that guy, and I missed. The only reason why I'm going to do that is because I need to heal, and I can't heal naturally. I don't know. They, they handle so many things wrong with this game. Why is that not activating? More enemies. Wave after see what I mean? Wave after wave. That's all it is. I might actually die again. That actually saved me a bit. Okay. We somehow made it through that. I'm down to like 40% health. Desperately needed that save. Oh, now we have the Eclipse Scythe. All right, let's try it out. Let's upgrade it to level two if we can. Yeah, get that to level two. Alright, it looks so basic compared to the way it looked in Ninja Gaiden 2. It's like, was there something in there? I heard like some... Ninja. He's here. There is researchers. Oh, you can do steel on bone with this? This might be my new favorite weapon, because Lunar, unlike this, can't do steel on bone combos, and this has still a really good UT. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, this weapon's really nice. Scythe is really good in this game. It's funny how, like, some weapons can become trash and others can become amazing. Although this game, this weapon was really good in Ninja Gaiden 2. Now it's just really good because you can chain range and steal on bone combos. Okay, I don't know if I want to go in there yet. I guess I have no choice. Alright, here comes one of the more annoying enemies. Not as annoying as that T-Rex. Not as annoying as those alchemy guys. But by far... They're making the clones from the Clone Wars. Alright, here they go. They're gonna transform. Did I play Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 or I've already played both of them. This time we'll get I've already I've completed both of them. I, did, I started with Sigma 1, I completed it. Then we did Sigma 2, I completed it earlier today, and I just started this game. Oh, I hate these guys. I guess I didn't need to use that. These things end up looking different in... Oh, that was my chance for a steal on bone. But because this weapon can do steel on bone, uh, it's it's good. <laughs> it's automatically good. It's one of the upper tier weapons in this game. I feel so sorry for Lunar. No show, uh, I don't know, like, have you played all of them yet? Or you're still on, like, one or, one or two? I think it might be faster to just fight these guys normally, but I don't know. This is, like, the cheesy, safe way to fight them. This is the acid pit. I never noticed there was a human face behind them. Now, is there like a way out of here? Do I have to kill them? Steal on bone. Yeah. You played all the original games? Oh, but you never played the Sigma ones? Are you, okay, where am I supposed to go? Please? Oh my god, really? Thank you for the data. And the wonderful Yeah, I've played I've played all these games before. I played Razor's Edge on the Wii U and the PS3. Although, I really, I'm really salty about what they did to Lunar. Because you can't chain steel on bone. The thing about this combat system in Razor's Edge is it's so focused on chaining steel on bone combos. Oh wait, why am I letting this guy live? This guy first.
See what I mean? Like steel on bone, steel on bone. Because you get so many. You heal and you get. Uh, you get a lot of. Uh, you get a lot of uh, uh, karma points so you can, like, upgrade stuff faster. Like this. This is probably the only thing cool about it is this, but I really don't like that they got rid of the items. Because the items are what made. I mean, you would think, right? Like, the items were a key thing in Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2. Oh, there's a crystal skull right up there. We gotta go find that. I gotta Emergency. figure out how to get to that. Emergency. Level 4 situation in lab area 7. All researchers, please evacuate to upper levels. Uh, you've played all the PS3 games? You still have it? Yeah, I still got them all. Saw someone playing on Mentor on Ninja Guy and Sigma 2. I was wondering if you had any issues with the Dragon Swords. UT that sends enemies in the air. No, not really. Sigma 2 was my favorite one so far. Out of I haven't played any of these games. Well, this game, I played this game like back in like 2000, whatever, 13 or 12, 13, whenever it was new. Well, I guess on PlayStation 3, it was on 2013? Yeah, so it would've been 2013 was when I last played Razor's Edge. But the other games, like, I haven't played Sigma 2 in like 10 years, and Sigma 1 in like 13 years or whatever. So, um, but so far, like, the, Sigma 2 was the most enjoyable one to, to replay through by far. Like, it was so good. It was just so, so good to play. Like, the combat... It's, it's cool because when you go from playing Sigma 1 and then you go to Sigma 2, you get to see immediately, like, how they improve the combat with Sigma 2. Or I guess 2 instead of one, over 1. Like, 1, the difference is the combat is a little bit slower. The camera's wonky sometimes. It messes up. And, uh... I guess the other thing is, uh, in, in Sigma 1, like, the levels can be really long and there's a lot of backtracking, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you can end up spending, like, 45 minutes on a chapter. But the world, obviously, like, for me personally, Sigma 1, or just 1, has the best adventure and the best story. Like, I like the Dark Disciple, the Vigori Emperor, all that stuff. That stuff's really cool. The the world diversity, the enemy diversity in that game is just super good. Sigma 1 and Master Collection looks like they combined the PS Vita. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. Oh man, I need, I need like steel on bone combos, but these are all fiends. I don't really know how to ch chain it because I don't really remember their patterns. limb off, yeah. Alright, we're gonna go with this. I need to heal up. Alright, I think the boss is coming now. I don't know who the boss is gonna be. Oh, it's just a bunch of stupid dogs. I think, well... I hate how they uh, mishandled Lunar in this game, though. 
that you can't do the 360 UT. Uh, you can't even chain steel on bone, which basically makes Lunar absolutely garbage in this game. Because that's such a huge part of the combat system. I don't know whose idea that was to nerf the weapon like that. Sigma 1 had some like weird camera issues. That's the only thing I ran into. And also, like, it would load certain maps strangely. Just like the, on the PS3, which is really odd. You would think they would have fixed a lot of that stuff. Probably gonna die. I mean, again, if I could heal, if, if there were healing items, this would be far more enjoyable than the way it is. Having to play like this is just kind of, you know, not cool. Yeah, I'm gonna fail. I'm not even gonna get to the boss. The funny thing is, I failed every single one of these crystal things except for Ayane's. She beat Zed. She's the only one that succeeded. Ryu's failed every single crystal skull so far. I either never get to the boss or I literally, like, die at the boss because I just don't have the HP. HP guys. Alright. They nerfed the lunar from Yes, it's it's been nerfed like since the, like RE on PS3. Alright, whatever. Um the whole purpose of doing that, even if you even if you fail the challenge, it doesn't really matter. The whole purpose is to farm karma to level stuff up. You just get more karma if you beat the boss. And I, I think if I get all the Crystal Skulls, there's an achievement for that. But I mean, other than that, it's like, whatever. Dragon Sword UT and Ninja Gun Sigma 2. Ayane's Kunai letters not playing any voiceover. And Master Ninja on Ninja Gun Sigma 2 is broken. What's broken about Master Ninja? Because I haven't tried it. Oh, look, 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 it's just more of the same stuff. Can I skip these guys? I would rather just skip them. Garbage. It's like, I'm not dealing with that garbage. Can I, like, skip all of that and... Can I save? Please? Are you serious? You have to fight this trash? You have to fight trash to be able to save. Whatever. And then, like, as soon as you think it's over, they just spawn more enemies. I don't know, this game is, like, just straight up bad. Too many, too many unnecessary enemy encounters. To the point where it isn't even interesting anymore. Grabs can take 80% health. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. Master Ninja was always like that. Master Ninja always, like, could kill you. No, 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 that, that's how it was. They didn't change anything about Master Ninja. 
If that's how Master Ninja is in Sigma 2, that's exactly how it was. Because Master Ninja in Sigma 2 is the only Master Ninja that I actually cleared. I never cleared Master Ninja in the original game, or Sigma 1, or this game. Um, but I did complete Mentor and Master Ninja in the PlayStation 3 because I wanted all the costumes. That was the only reason why. That was my only incentive to play through the higher difficulty levels. In fact, I don't even think there were costumes for Master Ninja. Well, I think, no, there was one for Ryu. I think there was one for Ryu. But I think if you wanted Momiji and Ayane and Rachel's final costumes, you had to clear Mentor Mode in that game, which gave you the Dynasty Warriors costumes. I don't even know if I should go in there or I should go in here. Compared to Master Ninja and Ninja Gun 2, it's pretty broken to be honest. I mean, I, I wouldn't know because I never played Master Ninja on the Xbox 360 version. Of course. Typical. This, this game compared to the other two... I can't even imagine playing this game on Master Ninja without any healing items. This game is too mentally exhausting to play because there's too many, just way too many wave after wave of opponents. At least the other two games gave you breathing room. See, literally all you do is you go from room after room, and then there's just wave after wave of enemies. No platforming, no puzzles, nothing to break up the monotony. It's like they're just slaughtering things over and over and over again. But, I don't know. Lunar's my favorite weapon in Sigma 2. What's your favorite weapon in all three games? Like, is it different per game? Because it is for me. 360 Lunar UT is my favorite move in the whole game. It's just so good. Why is the door not opening? Now it's open. Steel on bone. Alright, I think we're getting close to the end of this chapter. I don't know if I should even bother getting those moves because I will probably never use them. It's through this hall, right? You, traitor! 
Plasma Saber. Oh yeah, from the OG Ninja Gaiden. The one from like Xbox days. I, I should say the evil Dark Dragon Blade because of that. <laughs> the, most, uh, the most worst weapon in the game. <laughs> I don't know, Scythe is pretty good in this game. Oh, what the? I hate these guys. Th these enemies are, like, trash. I hate these things. I, I kind of think I should use Lunar because I don't know how to I don't know how to steal on bone these guys This is bad game design to be honest like these these enemies do not fit this game That one still live? After all that. Flew halfway across the map. Wait, I thought I. Aren't there only three of them? Why is there like another one? enemies are the worst like why are there more soldiers what the heck like there's no break there's no break in between all right well these guys are granted these guys are easy to get steel on bone for healing but still like come on Come on, it would be better to give you a save after that, not like fight six or seven alchemists and then like a another wave of enemies. Why are there more enemies? See, this is what I mean. Like, th what were they thinking when they made this? Because, okay, the thing is, Ninja Gaiden 2 on the Xbox spammed so many enemies also, but they didn't have enemies that could steal your health and your Nimpo. Like, come on. What are my thoughts on the new enhancements of RPG effects? They added... What RPG effects? They, yeah, they added the new skins. I, I used them when I played through the chapters. 
if you look on the channel, I mean, you don't have to look now, but I did stream the whole, like, Sigma 1, Sigma 2. Uh, Sigma 2 is the only one worth watching, mainly, because I do show the new costumes. When I played Ayane, Omiji, and Rachel's chapters, I used the new costumes. I hate how Lunar can't do what that, what these other weapons can do. At least the Scythe can do Steel on Bone. You think it makes it too easy or just gives a new way to play? I don't understand what you mean by the new enhancements and RPG effects. Are you talking about, are you talking about the leveling up your skills and stuff in this game? I don't think it's any different from the previous Ninja Gaiden games. The only difference is like there's no more shops. safe now. Where's Cliff? Alright, whatever. Okay. Left trigger to carry Kana. This is gonna be... Wait, hold up. Is there anything in this room? The Fiend skin adds health, decreases defense. The Ari skin... The Ari skin buffs Ryu without decreasing anything. So I would like to know your thoughts. Uh, is that true? I did not know that. I had no idea. So I played Ninja Guide in Sigma 2 using the Sigma 2, the white ninja outfit, which was originally a GameStop exclusive pre-order bonus for that game. I played the entire game through with that skin. I had no idea that that, and then I played using on the, all the girls, I used all their new skins. I had no idea that that was actually a thing. Where, where does it say that? Oh, I gotta carry her to this room. I like how the bow folds up on his back like that. Me. You don't need to know. Where is Kana? Now. Is Kana okay? If you've done anything to her, hmm. shut up and walk. You're talking about Sigma 1? Ninja Guy didn't. No, I know. Oh, you're talking about. uh... Okay, for that game, I just played using the regular black outfit. I. uh... But there's only. Like, only. Rachel has... Rachel has different... Does Rachel have different outfits? I know she has different hairstyles in that game. Be still. Close your eyes. What are my thoughts on it? I mean, I think it's cool, actually. Because, honestly, I don't think it... I don't think it makes that much of a difference to change the gameplay in a significant way. Do I have to keep carrying her? I want to save. I don't even know if any of this stuff's worth it. I still can't get level 3 on any of these weapons. And I don't know if I failed something, because I'm missing, like, it looks like I'm missing a weapon. I think I'm missing whatever the Buster Sword in this game is. Or maybe the Tomfa. I hope the Tomfa's in this game. I'm assuming Tomfa and some kind of Buster Sword. This next scene can give I little no kids choice. a nightmare. That's fine. What do you want? <laughs> the modern alchemist makes the dreams of gods come true. I wish to see the birth of a new world. We took a little sample of your blood while you were sleeping. Did you play on harder modes? I assume ninja DNA. you went to very hard, you probably didn't unlock everything. The dragon god. Uh, no, I, I didn't play on mentor. I played on normal. I played. I'm playing all three games on normal. Because I haven't played in so long that I don't feel like playing on mentor mode. People asked me about that for Sigma 2.
The only game I'll probably play on a higher difficulty is Sigma 2. I, I don't think I'm going to revisit Sigma 1 again. Or this game. This game, the only thing I'm doing this for is to unlock everything for the Ninja Trials. I just want to do the co-op missions. That's all I care about for this game. And for Sigma 2, realistically, if I have to clear Mentor to, un to unlock the Dinosaur costumes, I'll probably do that. But Ninja Gaiden 1, I'm pretty much... I'm pretty much done with Sigma 1. I'm not I'm not going to revisit that game. It's long. I mean, it's a it's a good game, don't get me wrong, but there's no like there's too many other games that I need to play. I'm not going to go back and visit Sigma 1 again. Her move set is kind of like Oh, I could have whoops, should have done my steel on bone. Like for this game, I'll probably never play this game on a higher difficulty because without healing items, I just don't have it in me to bother. You could target the red guy with the Nimpo. He was actually one of the targets. I've enjoyed this clowning around, but it's time to leave. The two of you enjoy yourselves. We'll meet again, I suspect. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I unlocked... Uh, so when I cleared normal, I unlocked a costume for... So I unlocked Demon Ryu... Um, I unlocked a, like, a color swap for Rachel and Momiji and, like, another, and I, I, I think I unlocked another Ayane costume. I think it was the classic Ayane one, the one that she wears in, with the hood in Ninja Gaiden 1. I think I unlocked those three costumes. I know I, um, when clearing normal, I know I got a new costume for every character. Um, and then when I cleared each of the girls' stages, I also got another costume for each of them. So, I know the only costume you get from clearing Mentor, assuming they're still in the game, are the Dynasty Warriors costumes for all the characters. So, Rachel has, like, the, you know, like, the purple, like, the pinkish-purple outfit. Momiji has, like, a yellow outfit. Ayane, if I remember, I can't remember what hers was from Dynasty Warriors. And then Ryu had, like, yeah, I can't remember his either. Oh, no, he had, like, a white, a white one with, like, Chinese shoulder pad armor stuff from from like Liu Bei or something. I don't know. I think you have to comp you have to clear Mentor to get those costumes. Assuming they're still in the game, maybe they swap those out for like different costumes. How did she still have this much HP? I thought I dealt more damage to her. <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Ah. Moses. 
Oh, I missed my... I don't know how that didn't work out. I need that steel on bone combo. I might have to redo this. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta redo it. What the heck? What are you supposed to do there? I hate the quick time events in this game. That's not my thing. But yeah, Sigma 2 is the only one that I really care to replay. Like, I don't, re I don't really remember the enemies in this game that well. I remember the red guy with the hood and the T-Rex, and I hate the T-Rex. And I remember there was like some kind of giant like robot Gundam thing, or like a, a dinosaur robot thing, or something, something in like a military air force base. She has a regular hand? Playing really sloppy now. That was close. I almost had to redo that again. PSV requirements in Master Collection to unlock Dynasty Warrior skins. Self destruct system activated. Skins doing Ninja Run. I don't know, cause uh, maybe, maybe. But then, but then if that's the case, if that's the case, then they have to have different costumes for Mentor Mode, or there's like no costumes from completing Mentor Mode. In that case, like I feel even better that I have didn't even bother playing on Mentor Mode. <laughs> I hope the Dynasty Warriors costumes are in the game. Uh, but I think, is there... I, correct me if I'm wrong. Is there a costume for Ryu for completing Master Ninja? Because I'm trying to remember what was the what was the reason why I actually did You're Master Ninja. I don't even remember why I did it. But I, I know I did it. Because that's probably the reason why the smoothest playthrough for me was Sigma 2. Because I probably had a lot of muscle memory from having playing that game on the higher difficulty levels. Never bothered to touch this game or the original on the higher difficulties. I think I did play OG Ninja Gaiden on Xbox. Not Ninja Gaiden Black, not Ninja Gaiden Sigma, but the actual Ninja Gaiden. I think I tried that on hard mode with the plasma saber and the, you know, like that the, the outfit that goes with that. But I never finished it. I think I got to, like, probably chapter 5, somewhere around there. And that was about as far as I did, or I went. Ooh. Ooh. 400,000. I'll probably get, I guess, get the dragon. Or the 
Jinran Maru, just because the sword is the most, like, it's the most reliable one to do steel on bone combos. Ninja Gun Wiki. I'll, I'll probably take Lunar next and then maybe the Scythe. I'm still surprised why I'm missing two more weapons. I assume there's two more weapons. But that's a lot of karma needed. The Ninja Gun Wiki shows all the skins of each version, including PS Vita. That's how I know. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to save another one. Alright, we're going to continue with the stream, but I, I need to take a, like a bio break here. I need to get something to drink. Because we've been streaming for a while. I think I've been streaming for five hours. Like, this stream includes the last two chapters of Sigma 2. Plus, like, everything you've seen in Razor's Edge up till this point. I started with Sigma 2, I did chapter 16 and 17, finished the game, and then did this. What the hell do you think you're doing? In fact, I didn't actually plan to stream Razor's Edge at all, but because I finished the first two games way ahead of schedule, I figured, okay, I'm going to play Razor's Edge. The only thing I'm looking forward to play, doing in Razor's Edge is playing the mission modes with Kasumi, Ayane, and Momiji. I really wish Rachel was in this game. I really don't know why they didn't include Rachel in this game. They could have easily just ported the one from Sigma 2 into this game. Like, same moveset, same machine gun, everything. But anyway, I'm just going to let this cutscene play through and I'll be right back. You will cease this operation immediately. You so-called ninja are ghosts of a forgotten age. These are different times with different rules. You don't belong here. But what about the threat? Enough! Now. As long as we understand each other, you may go. We're rendezvousing with another vessel which will take you back to Japan. That is all. You're dismissed. I said, you are dismissed. I'm sorry about this. About everything. It's not your fault. But what happened to Ishigami? I can't get in touch with him. Cliff even tried to warn me. I hope Cliff is safe. Listen, you can't give up hope. You have to be strong for Kana. I know. The truth is, Kana isn't my real daughter. My sister married Cliff's brother, and, well, Kana's their child. doesn't talk much. There was an accident. My sister and her husband were killed. It was such a shock to her. Both parents just gone. So I took her in. It's been over a year now. Kana! What's up? You getting hungry? Uh... <laughs> Kana! You mustn't ask people things like that. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? Oh, we're sorry. We're very, very sorry. No, no. I, I just never thought of being a father. I'm touched. Hey, you! Your ride's here! All right, I'm back. Cliff! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. I was the guy who attacked. played Ninja Gun Sigma 2 on Master Ninja hated Rachel. I don't know why anybody who played... So unless he never did the Ultimate Ninja missions on, uh, like in co-op back in the day. I don't know why he would hate Rachel because Rachel was one of the key 
the key strategies of clearing Ultimate Ninja 1 and 2 was one player would use Rachel and do her spinning, twirly, like, ballerina dancing spin, like, repeatedly over and over again with all the aggro, so that she had iframes to basically be immune to all the random attacks from the Greater Fiends. And then the other guy, the other player would be using Ryu, typically Ryu, most likely Ryu, and they would be, like, basically killing all the Greater Fiends. That's, that's the strategy to clear UT1, or UN1 and UN2. Maybe even UN3. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know why anyone playing on Master Ninja would hate Rachel. Rachel is, like, one of the key uh, strategies. Like, without Rachel, I don't know how anybody can clear those missions. Okay, so I think this is the military one. Let's go ahead and like skip this. Oh, there we go. Dual katana. Genshin sword is back. Two swords style using Jinran Maru and the blade of the Archfiend. Um, let me see. If I equipped it, can I automatically level it up? Yes. Okay, so I do have this at level 3. But I'm still going to try this out. This game requires a lot of grinding to level up your weapons. That's why you want to get as many steel on bone combos. And I really want all the golden scrabs on this playthrough. So that I can get my HP bar as high as possible. Oh, he played Ninja Guy in Black on original. It's it's too bad that they don't have the co-op, though. Like, you have to do AI only. But I do like that you can switch between characters. I did play one of the tag missions after I cleared Sigma 2 before trying out this game. And I, I used Ayane and Momiji in the very first Arcolite mission, and let me tell you, it was pretty fun. Not as fun as playing with somebody else, but being able to swap between the two characters, like, simultane like instantaneously, is really nice. Hey, is that like the... Oh, wait a minute. Did I just do the 360 UT, but it's not in... Like, Lunar doesn't have it? Hold on. What's the regular UT? Oh, they gave it the good one. There's no 360 UTs in this game. You just, like, spam Y, and it just does that one move. See, I don't like that there's no Essence. They got rid of Essence, which really bugs me. Because you can't... I don't know, this game feels like it's missing its soul. Who wants to just play... See, like, the way you play... The way I play this game is, like, I'm playing Onimusha. Onimusha, you could chain... You had to do, like, chain link combos. It was all about chaining attacks for high-level play. And I feel like this game forces you to play that way. Like, chaining steel on bone is really, like, the only way to play this game, like, well. Like, I, I can't even imagine playing this game at the higher difficulty levels without just... Spamming steel on bone combos the whole time. Okay, I remember there's a there's a crystal skull somewhere on this mountain path. Yeah. 
yeah, it had online co-op, and that was one of the best things about it. Like, the replayability. You can play as Rachel, Ayane, Momiji, and Ryu online in co-op. And in this game, you could play... There's no Rachel in this game, but you can play as Kasumi, Momiji, and Ayane. And Ryu, obviously. And in this game, you could even create your own ninja for multiplayer co-op and PvP. This is the only game that had that. Like, I don't think Ninja Gaiden 3... I think Ninja Gaiden 3, the OG Ninja Gaiden 3... Uh, had the ability to create your ninja. There was no mission mode. Like, there was no Momiji, Ayane, and, uh, Rachel in... Or, not Rachel. Kasumi in OG Ninja Gaiden 3. They're, they're only in Razor's Edge on the Wii U and the PlayStation 3. The game was originally released on PlayStation... Or, on Wii U. And then it got re-released, like, a few months later on the PlayStation 3. And I don't know if it was... No, I don't think it was ever on the xbox okay those dudes with the uh arrows need to stop that it's not nice it's not nice guys need you to stop that thank you i mean that for me that was the majority of all i did was play was play online after completing the story i never really like well, that guy, like, fell off the thing. Oh, uh, I missed the, my chance on those. I need to do my Izuna drop. Why am I not doing it right? There we go. Why is it like that? Is that how it was? Or am I doing a different move? I guess Izuna drop with the dual katana is done like that in this game? Oh, that was another chance to do steel on bone. See, I need steel on bone. I guess I'll just use this to heal. I like how that one just decides to stand right next to me and try to shoot arrows. You really- is that all he can do is shoot arrows? Master Ninja was known to never reward you with skins. Okay. How much karma do I have? 91,000? There's a crystal skull up there, I can see it. He <laughs> threw them overboard. Okay, there's a there's a crystal skull for a fiend challenge. 
I gotta remember how to get to it, though. What did you get from completing Master Ninja? I think I have to run... Hold on, how do I get up there? Oh, it, there's probably like some way on the side. Mentor doesn't unlock anything in Ninja Gun Sigma 2. Oh, for real? Real? Okay, I feel happy now, man. Uh, that's good news because I was thinking like I'm missing out on some costumes from not doing Mentor when everybody was telling me you should play on Mentor. I'm like, yeah, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can probably like power through it, but it's like... I don't know. Oh, I, I, I'm trying to finish this so I can move on to the mission mode. I'll be playing the higher difficulty levels on mission mode. That's because I think that's where it's at. This weapon's pretty good. I played most of my playthrough on Sigma 2 using Lunar. Lunar, a mix of Lunar, Tonfa, um, and Dragon Sword. Not so much this weapon. I use this weapon quite a bit on the Sigma 1 run. Tiger's Claw and Dragon's Fang. I think it all mentor gave you reused dynasty warrior costume okay yeah i knew i knew mentor gave me the dynasty warrior ones on ps3 i wasn't sure about this one how about the master collection that guy lived i don't think he did now Oh, that guy almost gave me a chance to do steel on bone. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Gotta take those when you get them. I wish there was an ability to learn that could improve the rate that you build your Nimpo gauge. Oh, here come the fiends. I bet the fiends are coming now. Or dogs or something. Oh, these things? We got like military commando like we got Tom Clancy division guys in here and random like s bugs that glow Somebody, oh yes. Oh, I missed it. I got messed up because that guy shot me. I was trying to go for that steel on bone combo. Am I going to play extra modes in Sigma 2? Yes, I will play the extra modes. There will be more content for Sigma 2 for sure. And Razor's Edge, at least the mission mode. Sigma 1 is the one that you won't really see on this channel after since I've already completed it. Uh, okay, maybe... Maybe I'll do the missions in Sigma 1, but it's definitely the lowest priority right now. M for me, it's going to be Sigma 2 and Razor's Edge mission modes, like the co-op content. Because I want to play as the girls and Ryu on a tag team. Alright, let's see who we got. Oh, and here come the fiends. 
See, I feel like these sequences are a little bit too long for just an optional karma spam. I guess I shouldn't have done that because I didn't really need to heal. I think that was a steal on bone. That guy was coming out of the ground. Razor's Edge still has over-the-top action. It's just because there's no real, like... The gameplay is so not diverse. It's just too much, like, spam enemies over and over and over again. There we go. That was a nice finish. Alright, let's see who the boss is. Oh, it's our favorite! It's our favorite! It's Genshin! My favorite! My pal! Lunar loves fighting Genshin. Ouch. I love fighting Genshin. I used to think of Genshin Impact. Oh, I dodged that way too early. Alright, my turn. Goodbye. My favorite is fighting Genshin with Lunar. My favorite weapon in Sigma 2 is Lunar. Alright, that was a good karma spam. Uh, still not enough. 200. 237,000. Um. Alright, that was, that was fun. As soon as I finish... This game's story mode, I will be doing the mission modes for the Sigma 2 and this game. See, the only thing about Lunar is your playstyle. You can only- you can't do 360 UT. And you also can't do Steel on Bone, which is the only- the really- what makes this bottom tier weapon. But other than that, it's still really fun. Just not as- not nearly as useful. It's good against bosses and fiends. It's not really ideal to use it against the humanoids. It's pretty good at delimiting, though. Surprisingly a good defensive weapon too, because I noticed that I'm not really taking much damage. I think there's a golden scrab. If I remember there's a golden scrab hidden away in the in the grass somewhere. Around here. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe not around here, but I really need those golden scrabs. Cause that's how you get your that's how you get your your maximum HP. There's no life of the thousand gods. There's none of that stuff in this game, unfortunately.
I just randomly, like, ran over the scrab and got piercing void. Super random. See? There was a scrab right there. I, I would have never even noticed. I wasn't even looking for it. I was looking for it, but I didn't know it was going to be right there. That's hilarious. All right, let's go ahead and... I mean, it's level one. I guess we'll go ahead and equip it. Well, mm, I don't know. That's a, such a small bar. We'll just go ahead and use it. Hopefully, it's spammable because it has a low charge. Why is he doing that move? That guy's still... Okay. Ooh, another one. Alright, can I level up something else? No, 276,000. I probably need to get a uh, Piercing Void to level 2. And maybe level 3. I think I'll take Piercing Void to level 3. Eventually all of them are going to have to be maxed out anyway, so... This has a short uh, charge up time, so it might actually be worth using this the most. Because the Inferno has a long charge up. And... Uh, Nimpo is what you use to heal, aside from relying on steel on bone and save points, so... playing the collection on I'm playing on the PC just the name 
Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I like I like piercing void because it seems like it, it has a quick startup time. Doesn't really heal me that much, but it does give me iframes. It does it does it's good crowd control. Oh, here comes Grip of Murder. Time to do that steal on bone. Steal on bone, steal on bone, steal on bone, steal on bone. See what I'm talking about? That's what that's what this game's combat system is all about. It's like playing Oni Musha instead of Ninja Gaiden. Grip of Murder is for practicing steal on bone. There we go. Get those big combos, chunky combos. It's a good way to farm up uh, karma points, too. Fight like Genshin. Big combo, big combo, big combo. This is another thing that was new. These these grip of murder scenes were not in the original Ninja Gaiden 3. They were added in Razor's Edge. Yeah, in, uh, in Ninja Gaiden 3, there were just these awkward sequences where you'd walk like this and he'd feel guilty about all the ninjas or whatever he slayed. But in this game, they added those group of murder sequences. Because literally all you would do is just kind of walk like this for a while. And in this case, he's going to pass out, probably. He's almost to the village. You can see the gate. He collapsed. I will skip all this. Okay, so he was basically uh, Momiji or Sanji or somebody. Somebody recovered him. So now he's in the village. Master you, are you okay? Sorry for scaring you. I'm fine. So now we're in Hayabusa Village. Thank the gods. You can thank Sanji for that. See, so yeah, Sanji found him. That's right. And then Momiji basically like nursed him back to health or something like that. Momitsu. Master Ryu, I'm so happy you're okay. I worked on your bow. Here. 
This game does have a cool looking bow though. I like how it can fold up. That's kind of unique. The weapons in this game look, have a very like modern military feel to them compared to the way they looked in the older Ninja Gaiden games. Here, watch closely. Oh wow, it has like a spread shot a now. Wow. Master Ryu, may you have victory in battle. I guess I'm going the right way. In the ninja village. They're training with wooden swords. Level those up enough times you get unlabored flawlessness. <laughs> Are you going to see your father? Yeah. It seems the Black Spider Clan is planning something again. You can leave the village to me. Me and the young ones. They can Everybody the looks train. like they're Amish ninjas, Thanks. and Hayabusa looks like he's like some kind of modern 20, 21st century mercenary dude with like a katana on his back. <laughs> Is that Sanji? Yeah, that's Sanji. Practicing. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever beat you. I'm looking forward to our training. All right, there's a save. Let's go. I think this is uh, Kurea's grave. Thanks for waiting. Let's go. I don't know. I don't remember. Is Kurea? Is she uh, Momiji's sister, or is or not? I don't know. Or cousin, or not related at all? I, I don't know. Oh, this is the chapter where where Momiji teams up with you, so the, she's AI controlled for the rest of this chapter. But she doesn't get her own chapter in this game. Unlike Sigma 2. This way. I guess we're going dual katana. Wait, let me see. Do I oh 69,000? That group of murder had a lot of uh points because I was down to 1,000. We got almost 70,000. Karma or yeah, karma from doing that? That's pretty good. Why, they, why is there like an overhead camera? And we're fighting like Tom Clan Clancy's uh, Ghost Recon type commandos. Scrab? Scrab? Maybe? Scrab? Golden Scrabs also and Crystal Skulls weren't in Ninja Gun 3. They were added into Razor's Edge. That was a waste. We must hurry. All right, let's go. Let's go. What was that? Oh. 
There's a dude like up here. I can see him. I can see the air, the spam. Now we got Black Spider Ninja. We had like commandos. Now we got or special ops, and now we have these guys. Oh, that, that was a steal on bone combo right there. That was a chance. I got confused for some reason. I I know I, I didn't know where I was on the screen. All that to burn down a spider web? <laughs> Must have been like a doozy of a spider web. All right, we're at ninety thousand. Is there a scrap? I don't think so. Let's finish this. So you only get a hundred points for a an ultimate technique. Compared to steel on bone, you get like five hundred or more. Obliteration combo for a finisher does give you a lot of points though. So it's always a good idea to always finish them off with obliteration techniques for that extra three hundred points. Okay, somehow they're getting reanimated. Interesting. How is that happening? Oh, I remember this. This is the boss from Ayane's chapter in Sigma 2. I recognize the voice. She's a member of the Black Spider Clan. People seem mixed about it. You're ma you're oh wait, you're on the fence about oh how do you think the collection compares to the original releases? Okay, so I like Ninja Gaiden 1. Oh there's a scrab. There's a scrab? Yeah, that's a scrab. I like Ninja Gaiden 1 more than Sigma. Well, okay, it's it's hard to say. Like I like the gameplay of Sigma or of uh, Ninja Gaiden 1 more than Sigma. But the difference is Sigma has Rachel as a playable character. Um, so it's it's really hard to say. I might actually like Sigma more than like the original Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden Black. I know that's probably gonna be an unpopular opinion, but I just like having the extra playable character. Are we supposed to be like focusing on what's reanimating them? What the? It seems like we're doing something wrong. Because I killed them and they come right back up. One thing that's really weak in this game is Flying Swallow. So, okay, si so back to what I was saying. So, Sigma 1, I think I like it a little bit more than... It it's so hard to say, because they change things that I don't agree with in Sigma 1. Like, they got rid of the Aztec uh, temple puzzle. 
they put like stupid motorcycle enemies, which I don't think were in Ninja Gaiden 1. They changed the placement of where you get certain like things. Like for example, I think you got Nunchaku way earlier than you end up getting it in uh, Sigma. So it's, I don't know, it's weird. But overall, I guess I like Sigma slight, ever so slightly more than the original Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden Black. Now for Sigma 2, I like Sigma 2 definitely more than Ninja Gaiden 2. Because you got all the playable characters, you got Momiji, you got Ayane, you got Rachel, they all have their own chapters. There's not as much unnecessary spam, so it doesn't feel like the game's just being cheesy and cheap. So Sigma 2 definitely is probably my favorite of all the Ninja Gaiden games. And then for Razor's Edge, Razor's Edge is definitely better than OG Ninja Gaiden 3. But it is worse than Sigma and and uh, Sigma 2. And worse than Ninja Gaiden 1. Wait, where am I? Oh, great. So I gotta kill, like, all these dudes to... Basically, unlock that thing? I'm going for it, I'm going for it. Oh, hold left trigger. No, you don't. Now what? Failing to finish that drop combo. Ninja Gaiden 3, you played Sigma and Ninja Gaiden 2. What? Those stupid ninjas got in the way? These stupid guys, like, come on, dudes, you're not supposed to be getting my way. There's still another one over there. Alright, well, he died. What is Momiji even doing? Oh, yeah, she has her, like... She has her shield, her barrier up. Huh? What? <laughs> what was that? game plays like a Tomb Raider. <laughs> it's like a Tomb Raider and Onimusha with the Ninja Gaiden cast. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I tried Sigma 2. I like the added bosses, but I enjoy the cheesy difficulty OG release. Really? I don't like the cheesy difficulty. <laughs> See, so yeah, I think the problem was they kind of overdid it a little bit with Ninja Gaiden 2. What are we supposed to do? Oh. Alright, let's go. 
Oh, Meiji, cut it out. What am I supposed to do? Uh oh. This game is just crazy over the top. The, okay, this game is kind of like... If you like... I'll say this. If you like Ninja Gaiden 2's cheesy difficulty, you'll probably like Razor's Edge. But what you won't like is there's no items, so you can't heal. There's no way to control your healing. Sigma 2 gets a pass for what? Am I doing something wrong? Oh, was I supposed to be controlling her? I can't even tell. Like, there's so much random crazy stuff going on. Why am I not completing the combo? Why is he doing that? I, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. He's doing like some other weird launch them in the air. You won't like that there's no healing items. That's probably the biggest bad thing about Razor's Edge. What am I doing wrong? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, I don't know what- I gotta look it up. I don't understand. I was doing it right before, but I don't know why. I can't- apparently I can't do the... If I switch to Dragon Sword, I'll get it every time. Watch. Or even Lunar. Okay, I was like, is Momichi, is Momichi supposed to survive? I don't know what all that was. You see her, like, get flung out into the field, into the air, and I'm like, uh, did we just fail? What? <laughs> so Dragon Ball Z Naruto crazy stuff just now. <laughs> this game is over the top. <laughs> it's like Ninja Gaiden 2. It's cheesy. <laughs> uh, Joe said something. I didn't hear what he said. Do you... What? Like Ninja Gaiden 2? Tells me it has infested your entire no, I like... Do you think they'll bring the series back in the near future? I do not know. You mean like Ninja Gaiden 4? Long ago, there were I mean... Maybe, but I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Team Ninja's kind of moved on to other things. I feel like Neo was the evolution of the Ninja Gaiden series. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's no Ninja Gaiden anytime soon. Like Ninja Gaiden 4. I don't think there's going to be one for a while. We're more likely to get Neo 2. Or not Neo 2. We're more likely to get a Neo 3. Before we get a Ninja Gaiden 4, if that makes sense. I feel like they've moved on. They're, they're, they're sticking with current trends. I feel like old school, hardcore action games like Ninja Gaiden and Devil May Cry are really becoming rare and are very niche uh, genre. To the point where I, I don't think there's really, enough, from a business point of view, I don't think there's enough money in the game 
for them to invest in making Ninja Gaiden 4. As now I know that sounds sad for fans of the series, but I think that's just the tough reality. I don't even know how far I am to the end of this game. I forget exactly how many chapters are in this game. I think there's like 10 or 11 or something. I know it's significantly less than the other two games. Alright, I can get uh, Inferno to level 3 if I wanted. But I, I kind of want to take Lunar or the Dual Katana to level 3 before I get these to level 3. Because I feel like the Nimpos are kind of whatever. So, I think I'm just going to hold out. But yeah, I don't think we're going to get a new Ninja Gaiden. As much as I want to see a Ninja Gaiden 4, I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe, maybe. I'll be, I'll be surprised. Momiji's now in Ninja Trials. Okay, so you had to play day, whatever that was. Four, five... All right, whatever, skip this. The, the, the sad thing about Ninja Gaiden is they put so much effort into the story of Ninja Gaiden 3, and it ended up being such a disappointment. There was like a huge F in chat when Ninja Gaiden 3 came out that uh, I honestly think that that's kind of what killed the series for them. And that's why we haven't gotten a new Ninja Gaiden, like a true Ninja Gaiden game. We got Razor's Edge, but, uh, you know, that was them trying to backpedal and fix... All the criticisms and issues that Ninja Gaiden 3 had. Yeah. So, I mean, I. Oh boy, this is. This is gonna be interesting. You know what? Uh, let's, uh. What other kind of, uh, costumes do I have? Spirit of the Fighter. That's, I think that's what I'm wearing. Realize nightmare. Here, let's uh, let's see what he looks like in the uh, in in the classic. See, they did change his falcon emblem on his head. It looks more like matte finished, squared off. It doesn't look as sharp as it looked in the other two games. So they did kind of make him. They did slightly redesign his outfit for a more modern look. They just reboot the series, make certain element aspects of Neo and the Sigma. I don't think they need to reboot the series. They, the reason why they don't need to reboot it is because they already rebooted it. All these modern games that we're playing are the reboot. Because the OG Ninja Gaiden series started on the Super Nintendo. It was a 2D side-scroller, sprite-based game. So this game is already the... Uh, The reboot. What is going on here? Why? These guys are lucky that I need to farm karma because... Or maybe they're unlucky because if they if they were lucky and I didn't need karma, I would just like speed run past all these these buffoon Bayman wannabes. How is anybody supposed to find, like, a golden scrab in this mess? I don't even know if, uh... I can't even tell where I'm going. This is so... But you can tell how this game is kind of like Ninja Gaiden 2. In terms of how much random projectile spam. Dudes on motorcycles with rocket launchers. I don't know how Ryu's able to, like, aim and shoot at things that you can't see. That somehow that all worked? <laughs> I hope there was no golden scrab or some kind of, like, gold uh, crystal skull that I missed. Because I didn't know... How I was supposed to find any of that stuff in there. I can hear you fine. 
All right, are we almost there? Oh, okay, we need like 70k more. So I need a crystal skull or a grip of murder to get one of these weapons to level three. Your objective is in song. Good luck. Oh, it's. Hey, this is this looks like the crystal, the ice cavern from the first game, kind of. Oh, is this one? Oh, I should have uh, obliteration technique that one, I guess. See, I don't know what's better, this or Lunar, because these guys rarely bring out their red attack. Or maybe Scythe. Oh, now that guy goes and does it. I go to Lunar and then he brings out the red. Now he brings out the red. It's annoying. Reboot the reboot. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how much we would get out of that, though. I, I don't really feel like that would bring a lot of value to this series if they reboot the reboot. I guess make, like, an action... I want to see somebody make a Onimusha-type game. Like, this game plays kind of like an Onimusha game, but, like, an actual real Onimusha game, not like this. Like a game that you can play co-op. The game that I'm really hyped up for is a game called Scarlet Nexus, which is coming out later this month. Oh, I gotta kill the, the hive. That game comes out, I think, June 25th. That's the game I'm really hyped up for. I, I can't wait to play that game. I played the demo on stream like a few days ago. Hold on, I want to make sure, is there like uh there's no crystal skull or something that I'm leaving behind. I really need a save point. I feel like my HP bar is like really low right now. Oh, see, this is what I mean, like... It's more of these really lame enemies. I don't know, I, I don't really don't feel like farming against these things. These things are so stupid. Because then they're just going to transform into those big annoying fiends. Or mutants or whatever they're supposed to be. See, like that one transformed. I think there's a falcon? Or is that a golden scrab? Wait, what? What? Lunar's still good. You can't do steel on bone. But you can do, you can charge your Nympho really quick. Is the combat actually intriguing in Scarlet Nexus? I haven't played the demo. Would you, what would you compare it to? Uh, great question. So it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a little bit of God Eater and Code Vein. I don't know if you ever played either of those two games. Code Vein, everyone calls that Anime Souls, aka Dark Souls, with like anime, but it's not really. Um, it's if you've ever played a game called Final Fantasy Type Zero. Um, it's also a little bit like that game. 
It's like a mix, a hodgepodge of those games. What the heck? Oh, there's a scrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I gotta get that scrap. It's like randomly, vertically mounted on the wall. Is there a way for me to check how many scrabs I've collected? Oh, 24 out of 50. And 5 crystal skulls. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like at this point in the game I should have like almost 30 golden scrabs. But that's probably one of my most anticipated games. The other game that I'm going to be streaming is Final Fantasy VII Intergrade. AKA Yuffie's chapter. I, I never finished Final Fantasy VII Remake. I need to finish it. I've been waiting to play it on PlayStation 5. So, and now that it is out for PlayStation 5, or at least via the update, so you can play it at 60 frames per second, and Yuffie's chapter, all that stuff, I am going, I'm planning to go in depth on Final Fantasy VII Remake. I haven't really, I feel like I haven't dealt it. I haven't uh, devoted enough time to that game. As much as I should have, so. So I'm a big fan uh, of the, what the heck, of the Final Fantasy series. This is so random. I don't know what they were thinking coming up with these sequences, all these ATBs, or ATEs. Oh, let me guess, it's going to be more of the mutant guys. Oh, it's those things. Um, I think the scythe is good against them, but also... Hmm. I guess I'll go... Whatever, this. I feel like... What's 7R? Oh, 7 Remake took a lot from the Rogue Galaxy game. Really? That's an interesting uh, opinion. I have never heard anyone say that. Rogue Galaxy, that's an old school RPG. That's it's a very good game. Really? I, I just feel like they just made Final Fantasy 7, chopped it up into like a different way to Why am I doing this so wrong, guys? Why am I doing the Izuna drop so wrong tonight? I think I'm one, two, three. Okay, I was doing one too many X. I feel like level 3 Void is pretty good at recharging HP. Technically, if we're talking Squares games, I need to finish Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. I mean, that gives me more incentive to play on the PS5. Okay, they don't want me going... They don't want me going there, so there's no... There's no crystal skull or anything over there. It's gonna be... I missed my chance for a steel on bone combo. Man, these things are hard to do he's gonna drop on. They guard a lot. I really needed to hit that that steel on bone combo real badly I'm low on HP this is what I don't like with this game though there's no way to properly heal you have to heal on steel on bone combo which is all RNG based 
because you have to bait them to do the move. Like that guy right there. Oh, see, I'm too close. I'm too far away. I was on the wrong enemy. Come on, somebody do it. Not that. Do the move. Oh, there we go. There we go. One, two. I got two. That got me a little bit of HP, but you really want those big combos where you hit like three or four insta kills. Where'd he go? I don't even know where he went. Oh, that's cheesy. You do void and he automatically teleports behind you? That's cheap. Am I excited for FF16? Yeah, yeah. It's a way off though. I think it's coming out like maybe late next year at the earliest. Can you not like not? Touch me. That's like, stupid. I don't know what these things are. Are they fiend? Are they like demon? What is these things? Alright, pal, I got I got something for you. Where do you go? The heck? What are you supposed to do to this guy? Can't get behind me now. Well, that was my chance. There you go. Yeah, I'm excited for for 16. I did not like 15. I actually like 13 more than 15. Where's that falcon at? I heard him and he's like, okay, no, nope, you gotta fight more of these guys. Oh, he's like up there, I see him. What's really bad about this game is you can't use 360 UT on Lunar. That's probably the worst thing about the combat. In addition to everything else that's wrong with it. You're stuck using this basic UT. Okay, can I take Lunar to level 3? I think I'm gonna. I don't know. This is a tough call because I can, Lunar can't do. It can't do Steel on Bone. Uh, it's either gonna be between Dual Katana, Lunar, or the Scythe. I don't really like the claws in this game. I still don't understand why I haven't gotten the Buster Sword yet. 
the Lunar Staff and the Scythe were my bread and butter ninja guide too. Yeah, well, you'll love Scythe in Razor's Edge. Scythe in this game is very good because you can chain steel on bone combos with it. But Lunar is horribly nerfed. It's probably one of the lower tier weapons in this game because you cannot do steel on bone. I don't know what they were thinking, but I think if... And they got rid of the 360 UT. You can't do 360 UT in this game with Lunar. It's just a bare... A, it's like a shell of what it used to be. So, I don't know. It's... I guess I'm going to take it to level 3. Just because it's my favorite weapon from Sigma 2. Even though it's like one of the worst weapons in this game. Maybe it has... Maybe level 3 Lunar has 360 UT. I don't know. If it does, I'll be happy. If it doesn't, then it's... This, this game is trash. It's, okay, let's see. Let's find out. Nope. Doesn't have it. Nope. Doesn't have it at all. He doesn't even spin. There's really no hurricane move? H hold on. Is there, like, any other move? Where are his Y moves? Okay. You hold down. Moon of the Furious Wind? No. It would be like an essence move. Ty- wait. Typhoon? Typhoon sounds like it would be... Hold on. It's a level 3 move. Hold on. Wait, hold on. No. Wait. Okay, what about if I do 360 and then like one, two, three? Oh, that sucks. This 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 is this game's garbage. You can't do the 360. My favorite move in Sigma 2 is the 360 UT with Lunar, where you just he spins around like with a hurricane spin. It's awesome, the tornado spin. It's so good. That's my bread and butter move in that game. I can't believe you can't do... Why would they take that out? Oh, wait. Hold up. Destruction spin. Maybe I'm doing... Maybe the input's different. Destruction spin. Destruction spin. Fluorescent remains. Rising moon. Typhoon. I think it should still be... Do they change the input? Hold on. No, because I'm, I'm doing... Why is it not working? The the command looks like it's there. I know I I know how to do this move. Like it's not supposed to be that hard. I basically was spamming it all day today on Sigma 2. It looks like it's there though. Fluorescent remains. It looks like you do a 360 and then you hold down Y. That's basically how to do the hurricane spin in Sigma 2. In Sigma 1 all you did was hold down Y, and the Hurricane Spin was the only UT that Lunar had in that game. Typhoon. Do you need an enemy to attack to activate it? No, well, okay, I don't know, maybe in this game? I don't think so, though, because in Sigma 2, you could just hold it, do 360 with the analog stick, hold down Y, let charge it up, one or two or whatever let go and then he does it so i don't understand why it's not activating in this game it says standing running hold up what else St running standing jump see fluorescent remains Wait, that's standing jump there it is again i don't understand why why is it saying sliding Sliding, you can slide and do a hold, a hold down. Sliding hit. Yeah, it looks like you should be able to do it. And I have the weapon at level 3, so I feel like I should be able to do this move. Typhoon is a level 3 move. Unless... Bugged? What is this? 
I don't know. Let's... Well, try it out. It makes it seem like it's still in the game, but it doesn't really seem like it wants to activate. I like the way the staff looks at level 3 in this game. I, I always liked the yellow and red look that it had in the first game. I didn't really like the way Lunar looked at level 3 in Sigma 2. See, that's... That's not it. That's the basic one. See, I don't... I don't understand, like, what would it be? Because... Because holding down Y. See, look, Typhoon level 3, Y, Y, Y? It has a... Unless, unless I'm reading this wrong, and that press Y is something else? But then I don't understand what else it would be. This is weird. Maybe... Maybe it's... Maybe that's what it is? Hold on. I think it's like a different move. And that does a lot of damage, though. Basically, when you use Lunar in this game, you have to play the game in a very different style. You can only heal off of Nimpo. You can't heal off of Steel on Bone. So it, it, it's like it, it, it makes the game harder. But I feel like this game, this weapon is just very strong. See, I noticed they're spamming their Steel on Bone moves more than they normally would when I'm using Lunar. When I don't use Lunar, they don't spam as much. It's because I can't Steal on Bone when they use that move with this weapon. I don't know, it seems like... See, he can do like all this crazy stuff. But you have to spam Nimple a lot. Oh, this guy again? For real? This guy? Where'd he go? Where is he? This is such a stupid enemy. What is this? Like, this is such bad game design. You can tell Itagaki had nothing to do with this game. Like, what is this thing? Look how dumb this is. Okay, that arrow... Does it work on him? I think it did. Okay. Here, let me try Scythe. I'll show you Scythe. Scythe is so good because it has the range. And you can use Steel on Bone. So Scythe is arguably superior. Objectively, it's superior to Lunar in every way in this game. Seriously, another one of these guys? Oh, come on. I hate these things. But I think Lunar Level 3 can probably make quick work of them. Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah, level 3 weapon. Level 3 weapon's pretty good. Not gonna lie. These three, I'm doing these 360 spin with the analog stick to see what it actually does. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> it's very, this, I feel like this is a very defensive weapon. It's not about hacking them. You wait for them to, like, mess up, and then you, like, wail on them big time with these heavy, like, hits. See what I mean? Okay, maybe it's not too bad. I find myself not losing too much HP. I feel like I find myself playing the game in a different manner. I, I don't normally spam Nimpo that much in this game. Happy E3 tomorrow? I wasn't even aware that it was happening. Alright, I gotta check it out. I know Elden Ring was announced. Oh, there's a golden or a crystal skull. I gotta get that crystal skull. Let me see. Scythe is the next weapon on the list to go to level 3. Uh, what games are you anticipating? How do you get in there? What? So I find myself using Nimpo to heal. Oh wait, I think it's over here. There's a golden scrap over there. There's too many enemies in this game. It's it's like Ninja Gaiden 2. Way too many enemies. Because I feel like there's a saying... It's quality over quantity. I feel like Sigma 2 got that right. This game and Ninja Gaiden 2 failed hard on that. Okay, that... Is that right? No, that's the way out. I don't want to go out. Oh no, that's the way out. Okay, so this is... All right, let's do it. See, that's what he does instead of a steel on bone.
You know what? It feels like it charges my Nimpo pretty quick. I got double S on that. Playstyle is definitely an interesting way to play this game. It's definitely a different experience. Not being able to rely on steel on bone combos to heal. Instead, you're using solely Nimpo to, to basically recharge your health. But it seems like it charges. It's almost like they tried to go for like a mage or like a monk style of playing with this weapon, which is actually interesting. See, I find myself, like, actually enjoying this, strangely enough. It breaks up the monotony of, of playing strictly with Steel on Bone. It's almost like you I feel like I'm playing like a monk, like Mighty Monk from Neo. That's almost what this feels like. And I, I like it because I'm a big fan of the Lunar. The Lunar's like my favorite weapon. I think the boss is coming. We're gonna get a bunch of fiends. Who's the boss? Oh, Elizabeth? Oh, no. Okay, okay. For her, I mean, Lunar is my highest level, I think. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I, I think we're just gonna go with this. Wasn't expecting her. Seeing her in this arena. Ouch.
Oh, I messed up. That was greedy. That was greedy. Got her. That was a good fight. I was not expecting Elizabeth in a Ninja Gaiden 1 arena. That was good. We, I think we got a lot of karma for that. 184,000. So still a long ways to go, but we really needed that. We needed that win. But I feel I feel like the way you play Lunar is like playing as Mighty Mug. or so, It's like a different play style, which is actually pretty interesting. Thankfully, you can still play Scythe the old way. Or, or I guess, the new way. Oh yes, extra health. Take it. Get it immediately. Immediately. Unlock that. Priority. It's called priorities. Oh no. To redo this. God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. 
Got him. Oh, here we go. I knew you had it in you, Ayabusa. Not even the ties of blood can stop you from taking a life. Why are you here? Wait, what? What? Oh, this thing can change weapon? Oh, this is a costume in the game. Can I not Izuna drop this guy? Seems like he, he falls down too fast. Okay, yeah, you can. Oh no. Please, I don't want to have to redo the first party. Okay, thank you. All the tracking. I'm wait. I'm, I'm doing that too early. To redo it. Redo it. All right. I'm gonna try scythe. Maybe not. I think I, ha I was doing better with Lunar. Yeah, I'm doing better with Lunar. This is too... Yeah. Nope. Going back to Lunar. Or maybe I should just use Dragon Sword and just... You know what's happening? My hands are too tired. Because I've been playing Ninja Gaiden, like, for more than this stream is almost seven hours long and that doesn't count the five or six hour stream for sigma 2 earlier today my left index finger is hurting when i have to block and uh yeah i'm just getting really tired that's why i'm messing up the is gonna drop i have the timing on lunar because i've been using it the longest <laughs> I'm playing really sloppy so cheesy. I should be able to guillotine throw him. Why is he not like... That barely even did any damage to him. The last hit did damage. Help! 
If I had 360 Lunar, this would be not even a thing right now. I have to go to hero mode. I'm too tired, guys. How come that's all that damage did? Why did Genshin take so much more damage than this guy? damage what how did that not connect I get out of here to clear the room. Another, another military vehicle.
two ways to go. Am I going the right way? Oh, I guess. I don't know who thought that this was a cool thing. Okay, at least it didn't have to climb all the way up. Because that's just not good game design. I'm sorry to say. This game has by far the most negative quirks about it. And the serial number sticker on this Xbox 360 controller is almost completely destroyed. It's like melting off. Okay, we are almost... I think we're almost done? I have no idea. 320,000 karma... Alright, well. That was 32 minutes, 35 minutes. So these chapters are pretty long. But I have seen longer chapters on Signal 1. So that was day 5. Oh, here comes Ayane. I think this might, this next one might be the last one for the stream because it's, I'm really, really tired, guys. I'll do Ayane's last chapter, and I think that's gonna be it for the stream. I'll have to finish Razor's Edge like uh, on the next stream. But I'm pretty sure we're close to the end now. The target is called the Black Narwhal. It's a classified carrier created by the Pentagon for special ops. The contractor that ran the manufacturing boat is Kansas Dynamics. They're actually a front of the ROI military operations. It's in dock right now, ready to ship out any time. Do you want me to get to that ship? I guess you know what? Here, let's try. Let's. Where's that other costume that she had? This was the nocturnal butterfly infiltrator. Let's go infiltrator on this one. Okay, she's going all commando now. That's 26 scraps, and I think I'm pretty sure I missed some because I feel like uh, there should be a lot more than that by now. That was a huge steal on bone combo that she just did. See, I'm looking forward to playing the mission modes using Ayane, Momiji, and Kasumi. That's where the replay ability in this game comes from. Not from story mode. Maybe from like grinding. Oh, the other cool thing about Razor's Edge that people probably don't know is you can go back and play all any of these these missions using any of the other characters. Meaning you can play any of Ryu's chapters using Ayane or Kasumi or Momiji. You couldn't do that in Sigma 2, so that is one good thing that they did add. Right. Which means they did kind of have to balance the Looks game like nice to allow you to yeah, use all the different characters in reuse chapters because they do have far more limited move sets. They can't really do they don't have all the same tools available compared to Ryu. So you kind of have to improvise on how you tackle some of the bosses. That's really annoying, pal. Can you, like, please stop that? Yeah. 
so far, I'll rank them like this. In terms of single player campaign, Sigma 2, best one. Sigma 2 was the most enjoyable. This game can never match that game after playing that game today. Uh, Sigma 1 versus this. Sigma 1 also is straight up better than this. Single player campaign. I don't care how many extra characters they put in this game. Like, uh, Sigma 1 is just straight up better than Razor's Edge. Oh, I missed that chance. That was a chance for a steal on bone. What the? Get that shield out of here. I got rid of all the guys that were spamming arrows. Steal on bone. Give me that HP. Somebody give me some HP. Not you. You have two swords. Don't tase me. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Give me that money. Boom! Oh, that guy wanted to give me some money. Alright, I'll take it. Oh, that guy had some right there. He had the good stuff right there. <laughs> I don't even know how she does that move. I don't know how I'm doing that move. This guy wanted to give me more money. Alright, whatever. Take that chump change. Get that shield out of here. You know I don't like those. Get out of here. <laughs> I like how she like kicks him. <laughs> what is this? What is this poor little guy down here? I find Ayane's chapters more enjoyable to play than Ryu's. They're much shorter, but they're a lot more fun. <laughs> like, his are just too much spam. Like, way too many enemies on screen at the same time. Alright, I know she has a crystal skull on her chapter. Somewhere. It's like in an area where there's, like, boxcars or something. Oh, can we level up her? Oh, yes. Give me that level three. Give me that level three. Oh, I need 50,000. Alright, we gotta do that skull challenge. Give me that HP. Alright, let's see. Hmm. I, I remember her level has more platforming. She's delimiting them so fast because her weapon's level three. You guys want to give me some money? I don't really need it, so... I'm just going to get rid of you guys now. Alright, here we go. Cause see, like... Every time you do a steal on bone combo, you get so much more karma, so you can... You, the currency... Gain... Oh, I should... Heck, I wanted to give me a steal on bone. Here we go. 
See right there? Oh, I messed it up. I failed. Oh, what the? He just straight up died? Alright, whatever. Okay. What? Oh, that guy almost... Like I almost did the combo, or he almost gave me the chance to do it. Right there. Oh, what? Seriously? Alright, whatever. We got more opportunities to do it later. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, somewhere around here is the... There's a crystal skull hidden very well on on this stage. I think it's after this. That guy live. Okay, so I think what you do is... No? I think you should be able to see it from somewhere around here. The blue box cars will mark where it is. Maybe it's past this? Hold on. Okay, I think it's... How do you get up? Where is it at? Oh, there it is. It's over there. Okay. So... I think I go through here. Oh yeah, I see the blue. Okay. Why is she not able to kill this thing? Obliterate that guy. Oh, that one too. Still on bone. More? Oh. It's just a karma grind, basically. That's what most of this game is. Okay, so you gotta go on the blue. So one, one, two, three, and then there. There we go.
prefer to fight the monks or the mages, warlocks, whatever they call these guys. The ones that cast stuff, because they're the most annoying ones. Looking for steel on bone combo. Nobody really wants to toss their counter burst moves. Basically, think of steel on bone as like there, there's steel on bone. Oh, I only did one, but uh, that's basically the precursor to counter bursting from Neo 2. That's essentially what it is. That's the easiest way to describe it. chance right there that was there was one there's one oh you can't you can't steal on bone the big ones that means lunar actually would be good against the big enemies which i kind of already figured that may have been the case well that was a chance I think we're getting the boss now. Maybe. What are we gonna get? Tengu? Tengu? Oh, these things? Come on, that's like. These things are super lame. What? There's like fiends with them too? Kill on bone. That was a good move right there. She's doing pretty good farming up a lot of uh, karma right now. Alright, let's see if we get the boss. Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's Genshin. Oh no. I don't know if I can loop him. He's gonna drop him the way I can with Ryu. She might have too short of reach. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting.
Yeah, I don't think I can beat him with her. I've never actually fought him with her before. One on one, not like this. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. Alright, let's see. Did we collect enough to get... Yes, we did. Max that HP. She's gonna get her revenge on Genshin, and like, in the future, I'll beat him. Mission mode will be a good way to practice that fight, actually. like wave after wave but whatever people can say that that's what ninja gaiden 2 and 1 are also but i feel like the world exploration and stuff in those games is just so much better this game is pretty much non-existent i don't think there's anything else to get here yeah okay No golden scrab or anything? How many do I have? 27? Yeah, I definitely missed a whole bunch. There's no way. I mean, we're this far in the game and we only have 27 out of 50. That's bad. Oh well. See that? That was a huge combo. And, oh, great. Them again? She fought them like last time. Wow, she destroyed them this time.
What? Get out of here. She literally, like, massacred those three. Those guys were the boss. That was the boss on her first chapter in this game. See, the sword... The sword alchemists are way easier than the ones... With that do magic the magic ones i hate those things that's like such bad game design of a, a unit in this game in this type of game feels super unfair She's at 998,000 karma. see any scrabs so I guess that's basically it here we go boss fight time I think she has a pretty tough boss fight too if I remember this is the one that's like an Air Force Gundam thing was a really nice combo. Real nice combo.
I feel like they should give points for that. Oh, these three. Okay, she has this boss fight. Yeah, this is annoying. This boss fight's really annoying. Come on. All right, one's down. I right, kill this one next. Kill snake arms. I think it's no. I think she has to fight something else. Unless I'm wrong. Unless Ryu's the one that fights that giant thing. I think the next stage is Ryu on a boat. We're gonna have to do that tomorrow. Who's that? Is that Sonya? If you're just watching us to keep us in check, or if you actually like give a damn. A GPS transmitter? A little much for this operation, isn't it? What? Are you always gonna be chasing us down? <sighs> the CIA is concerned. Yeah, that must be Sonya. CIA, yeah, your that's Sonya. Or enemies. You're ninja, and you're too dangerous. What about you? I just... you know... I just want to help Ryu. Okay, whatever. You'll just keep chasing the rest of us. Sorry, Ryu's the only one I'm after. Seriously, what's with you and Ryu? I know him better than you do, kid. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't remember that cutscene at all. Alright, well, Ayane, can you get level 4, level 5? And then, I think she has, like, maybe more than one other costume, I'm not sure. I think there's, like, two other costumes here that we can get for her. But that's pretty much Ayane. I think the rest of the game is all, uh... It's all Ryu. That was day six. That was day six Ayane, I think. Alright, that's gonna be it for this stream. I thought I could finish this game in one sitting. No, I can't. Because I started this with Sigma 2. Had to play the last two chapters on Sigma 2. Then everything we've done so far was this game after that. But uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to finish Razor's Edge tomorrow. Um, and, but we will finish it tomorrow. And then I'll probably be doing the, the co-op, the mission modes, like with the AI. I'll be testing those out in Sigma 2, and then this game. And then I think the next game I'll be playing after that would be, 
of Final Fantasy 7 Intergrade. So if you guys are interested in that, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you can get updates on when we go live. And basically, we can just have open discussion on any anything gaming related. If you guys want to talk about something else, like tech related things, like the situation with graphics cards right now, those who are trying to build a PC can't really do it right now. Um, but yeah, uh, that is another good topic of discussion. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the content so far, and I will keep it coming. Can you hear me, Hayabusa? And let me just land this somewhere, and the, or actually, how do you, like, quit out of this? I guess you can. Um, yeah. We still need to take care of the well, I guess we have to play to the next save. Thought I was done with this game, but this game doesn't want the stream to end. Alright, we'll play to the next save. For the first save on this level. Come on, man, that's so cheesy. Don't make me Izuna drop you. Alright, we're going to the save, like I promised. Wherever it is. Is there a scrap? If I end up replaying any of this game, I'll probably be replaying these chapters using Kasumi to look for the scraps. I can get... Oh, no, I can't. We're close to getting another weapon at level 3. I don't understand why I haven't gotten the last... Is there another weapon? I think there's like a Buster Sword supposed to be in here. There's one. That makes 28. Yeah, I think we're missing like four or five. There was a guy with a rocket launcher the whole time. What? You know, honestly, after playing Lunar at level 3, it's not too bad not being able to do obliteration, oh, not obliteration, being able to do steel on bone. Because it charges up your Nimpo pretty quickly. Okay, this is where we're going to end the stream. Just when the action was getting good.
but I'm gonna have to end it here. I'll be back with more Razor's Edge tomorrow, and then we'll be doing the team missions, like I said. And for those that are interested in seeing that, be sure to subscribe or just tune in tomorrow and you'll see it live. Alright guys, with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'll see you guys next time.